Hello, everybody. Uh, we're back. Episode 50. 69 something. Uh, announcements. 69 part negative 19. Cool. Last we left, or not last we left off, announcements. Uh, we have a link tree. You can find all of our important links there. That includes Twitch, Twitter, Patreon, the YouTube, which keeps getting copyright claimed, on the Sunday games. Whatever. Um as well as, I believe, a link to our my, D, uh, my DM skill, where you can buy some cool uh, Dungeons & Dragons adventures if you play D&D. &D. Uh, as well as a link to our Tiltify page, where you raise money for Color of Change, which is a really, really great charity, and they do a lot of good for people of color. So check it out if you can. Support the charity if you can. Um, yes. Kate, do you have anything you'd like to talk about? Uh, yes. I have a an official date for when I'm dropping my super cool D&D &D bumper stickers covering up the D20 because it looks like something else that it's not supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> but you can get these uh, cool D&D &D bumper stickers or you can get them as regular stickers uh, coming soon to my Etsy shop bad dice co etsy.com slash shop slash bad dice co you can get some of these cool bumper stickers in black white or holographic um to put on your back window if you want or on your side windows whatever you like or even on your suitcases if you got that kind of suitcase um that the uh drop date will be may 19th my birthday check it out nice. it's a friday in about three weeks back to you justin Hello. Um, yep. So, <clears throat> and the links to that Etsy, one of the, uh, the links to one of Kate's Etsy shops is in the chat. I keep forgetting to add other ones. Um, but yes, last we left off, I believe. Uh, One sec. Answering a Samuel question. All right. So, last we left off, you all got teleported back to Anundial City from Estes Geraldin after defeating Shiadan, which is a lot of fun, and decided to relax in the cat cafe known as the Glutton for Punishment, which was rebranded as the Glutton for Bunishment. And we're hanging out in the cafe, basically. Uh, Flit started hearing voices coming from a piece of the moon rock they had taken with them. And went outside in the alleyway. Everyone followed. And it created a rift into the forlorn forests where a remnant of Shiadan was residing. Which seemed to be tied into Druk in some capacity. So, Druk took the party on a little excursion through the forlorn forests. And along the way, some weird shit was happening. Ven's dad showed up, who was dead. And a figure that Coin seemed familiar with also showed up. A Kenku. Coin stabbed said Kenku. <laughs> and caused these, this version of this Ven's father to scream out in pain as well before Ven's father just disappeared party continued forward and discovered a scene of two bugbears uh, before that they, there was like a scent of sweet smelling stew in the air and followed the scent to discover a little bit of a clearing with two bugbears kind of cooking stew and upon closer inspection party saw the arms the bugbears were eating the arms of a bugbear and convulsing with every bite while legs were sticking out of the pot and a little bugbear head nestled there as well. The party heard shots from a bow and looked to see a younger version of Druk stepping out into the clearing and the vision faded. Druk saw a spiritual visage of his sister Druda and beckoning him deeper into the forest he followed, bringing the party with and encountered the guardian of the forlorn forest which had been corrupted by a, an essence of Shiadan 
and was basically causing all the drought shit and weird shit and uh, discovered that this entity before it became corrupted would provide bounty to the forest through the offering of small trinkets and game and fruits and all that kind of thing but when it became corrupted by Shiadan it took up offerings of what Shiadan likes which is cannibalism consuming that sort of thing and the entity was killed uh, Shiadan finally destroyed and upon that destruction the entity that guards the forest was reborn and handed Druk a cloak that it had hidden in the spring. A mantle, meaning if Druk wants to wear it, you can only attune and wear one cloak at a time, unfortunately. But Druk was given a cool cloak, and the party were sucked back to Anundial City in the alleyway that they had just left. Uh, they spent about six hours total in the forest trekking. So, we're going to pick up with you all just mysteriously returning to Anundial City after destroying the corrupted forest guardian. You've permanently put an end to the parasitic Shiadan. But now, you're standing in the middle of an alleyway in the market ward, the one you just left, the one beside the glutton for punishment. The snow slowly beginning to melt because I forgot spring officially begins tomorrow in the campaign setting. Uh, and it's not a super cold spring because who likes super cold springs? As you're standing here in the alley, the, er, the evening sun beginning to set, because like I said, you're in the forest a long time. Um, you're all sitting there, seemingly just teleported back, not really knowing how or why, uh, and you see a halfling dressed in an olive green coat and top hat of the same color, strolling down the streets, just going, Just a reminder, tomorrow we celebrate the festival of calming and the first day of spring. Uh-huh. And he begins, he just passes by the alleyway and begins like, plastering small flyers and pamphlets to the side of buildings. Um, each of you would most likely be aware that the Festival of Calming celebrates the first day of spring here on the continent, and the major cities on said continent put on a large celebratory feast for their inhabitants. The festival also includes competitions and feats of strength, which reward prizes, as well as people selling their various handmade goods and t out of tents and stalls. Nothing like armor and weapons, but like small trinkets and stuff. Think like a Ren Fair, basically, of how they celebrate this holiday. Um, the Royal Ward, where you all met minus Flitz during the Harvest Call, is where the Festival of Coming is celebrated. Uh, last year, there were archery competitions, mud, le mud wrestling, uh, drinking contests, and more. And it is a paid affair, but that is where we pick up in the alleyway. You hear this guy just yelling, Aha! Spring tomorrow! Festival! ba 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 and plastering flyers up. I remember this festival as a kid. I had my own costume and everything. Costume? Yeah, you kind of like dress up in olden times to remember how good it was when we had like really good um, harvests, like back in the day before we had all this extra magic. I don't, I don't remember the history of it, but all I really cared about is that we got to dress up in, like, old-style clothes, and it was so cool. It was also this, uh, they take, there's plenty of places, plenty of people who are making the food that is, uh, fried. Like, there's, uh, uh lots of fried doughs and fried corn, and there's, uh, fried, um, fruit, and there's, uh, <laughs> fried, uh, meat and there's um this fried uh chicken there's uh fried beef there's uh fried cheeses there is um there's fried uh, vegetables there's also uh there's fried uh you know specifically fried tomatoes there are fried uh, skewers there are fried, um, there's fried a uh, cake, if you can have it. There's, um, they have, uh, fried, uh, there are fried, uh, uh, things that you can still, if you can get them, like fried fish. But sometimes they would get, catch the fish alive, and then when they fry it, uh, you will see it die before your eyes. Don't forget the fried soup balls. There are fried soup balls. 
you know, when you bite into them and then the soup, it runs down your... I've not had it. I've seen it many times. But those who had the coin to do it, those who had the money could make those. Hey, coin, guess what? What is that? We have the coin to try the fried soup balls. This is... um, uh, it is, uh, I have, my mouth has begun watering, uh, and I have, um, did, I, I've never let myself indulge in the fried foods, but it has, does seem like, uh, what a waste if it is to be gone into someone's belly. Why not people who just had to fight the, the moon and win? Exactly. We deserve we have- suit balls. We've been given adult money, and we can spend it on all the soup balls that we want, coin. I guess. Druk, with your passive survival, because this is how I'm going to rule things since nobody has keen mind, or whatever it's called. <clears throat> Druk knows yeah. the time of day just by looking up at the sky and looking at the placement of things. Yeah. Ooh. Passive survival is 22. Yeah, so, so that makes sense to me. It's about 6 p.m. So yeah, the sun's beginning to set. Yeah. Uh, it's getting late. Dinner? Uh, yeah, we can drop off our stuff at my place. They had a Dex's parents and then get something else to eat. While you're doing that, I'm going to go to the Dreamweave District and actually buy spell components. Smart. Uh, here's uh, 300 gold. Could you actually grab me a diamond fan? Sure. Uh, right, oh, that's thanks. Ven. I thought it yeah, was. Yeah, for a, a moment I was like, prince. who is this? No, no, no it's Ven. <laughs> oh, like, oh, question. Ben. Um, Point of order. Where is homeboy? Is he gone oh, back? He he's been gone for a hot minute. Yeah, because uh, you guys got back here. Last week. You got back here at noon. And then he left to go deal with Prince stuff. And then you all hung out at the cat cafe. Okay, I just I and then okay. Flitz played with a piece of moon that they had, and then uh, everyone got teleported, killed an entity that possibly made Druk do stuff, and then uh, came back just now. Okay, I just I was like, where, where's that? Okay, thank you, Wes. And then Ben's just gonna uh, meeting back at Kenna's house. Uh, yeah, if the one that has no furniture possibly well we have all the furniture in the chest yes we have right. for the tower. furniture inside of a chest that is around my neck alright I'll meet you all back there he's just gonna head off to the Dreamweave district oh Flitz this is new to you I keep all the, the furniture is all in this chest and then I the backpack of the chest yeah it is. Mm-hmm. we pull it out of there every time mine we mine too he points at his bottle. Oh. It's really nice in there. Pillows, throw pillows, places to yeah. rest. They are pillows. Okay. That is. No. You got you beanbag know. chairs? Essentially, yes. It's uh, down bag chairs, if you will. Um, a couple little hanging canopy type beds with ropes that you climb up to to rest in. It's a little lonely by myself in there, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's fun and comfortable. Anyway. All right, all right, all right. Oh, before Ven leaves, he gives you back your gold because he's like, "Remember, I bought nine diamonds." Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to have an extra, and we got all right. so much gold. And he runs off. Could could oh, oh he comes then, back. <laughs> one second. Uh, could you grab me a really nice? Bird feather, please. It's a really ornate blues, if there are any blues and grays, if you will. What's it going to cost me? Uh, well, here's a gold. He'll flick him a gold. Okay. Van, Van now has four, uh, 48 gold left. Actually, Van, uh, could you find a... Um, I don't sorry, have a I lot of a... money. I spent I most of it got... on diamonds and... Hey, hey Ben, I got plenty of money. I will pay for whatever I'm asking you to pick up for me. Um, But uh, I gotta remember the spell that I'm trying to get a component for. Um, 
an object with the image of a dragon engraved on it worth at least 500 gold. Do you think they have that in the Dreef Weave District? I can check Coin you have 500 gold. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got plenty of gold. Keep the 300 I gave you, use that, and plus this extra 200 to buy this thing. Wait, uh, Kenna, are you you're looking for images of dragons? Uh, yeah. Worth five hundred I mean, gold. Worth at least five hundred gold, and no, I'm not going to use your sword or your shield. No, that's do your not. Stuff no, going. this is I do nah. not understand. But I'm saying we could always, if you are willing to move swiftly and. Softly, we could see if there's anything at the Temple of Bahamut. I mean... This man's just standing there with all his money, so do I give the money... What's happening? Do I give the money back, or...? No, I mean, right. this is... You can go and do that, it's fine, but we could also yeah. visit Bahamut. Then we have yeah. one, you could use the spell more than once. I don't know that I quite um, understand book magic yet. Uh, well, this is a nature magic thing. Um. Does it consume the component when you use it? I uh, I don't think so. I'll say if it consumes it under this spell. Yeah. Uh. If it's like it, five hundred gold, probably not. Uh, yeah. Raised dead um, consumes five hundred gold pieces, so it depends yeah. on. Uh, it does not spell. consume it. Some spells uh, consume objects worth like twenty thousand gold. So yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, <clears throat> what was it? Hero's feast consumes the thousand gold chalice. Yeah. All right, Ven's gonna run off then. Yeah. Thank we could you. also visit the Temple of Bahamut, um, cause like if I lose one, it'll good to be good to have a backup. Um, but yeah. Was this temple that you're referring to? Was it the temple that the bird person was talking about, and they destroyed or something? Is this the same temple? Am I getting this confused? <laughs> Was this, there was a lot of information that came into me all at once, and I distinctly remember hearing something about a temple being destroyed, or attacked, this or is, blown um, up, or... Yeah, this is... Uh, I, yeah, I will... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm still is, new. You don't have no, to tell there's, me. No, there's truly uh, no hiding ulterior motives with you, Flitz, I can see. Uh, so... Uh, if you'd all like to know, uh, I was uh, once, it is true, I was uh, recruited to be part of a, uh, there was a gang. I was uh, supposed to be recruited for with that specific uh, bird person, as you had said, um, but that is uh, not how it ended up. I... You were saved. Blessed no. by... Oh. No, I was... There was no saving or blessing that day. That was uh, a specific and difficult trial given to me by Bahamut. And I... I'm still trying to right an injustice that was perpetrated, I assume, by Tiamat. And uh, he presentations the spit on the ground. Oh, it off. Uh, no, that is uh, well earned by the queen of all trash dragons, Tiamat. <laughs> he goes to do it again, but stops. Hey, Coin, here's some water so you can rehydrate it. Just keep going. <laughs> you good? Thanks. Uh, this is uh, kind of you to say. Uh, as soon as I had seen that uh, former associate, I have uh, had small, like as if a spider was biting the back of my neck to perhaps investigate, and if you would uh, indulge that curiosity, I could maybe swing by five minutes tops, uh, go and see what I could learn, and 
then we could la di da go celebrate uh, the festival of calming and i would not be then it would you know throw in all of the uh, doubt and fear and you know, kick them all the way out to outer space okay yep all right i mean I have nothing to do. I really don't want to go back to the academy right now. Uh, so. You are not interested in witnessing what happens when uh, the, a power vacuum is fully engaged? No. No. You know, I... Uh, I don't think it would be, um, what's the word? I don't think I would enjoy seeing that at all, just going from a place that I, you know, adored and found, uh, found, uh, you know, myself, if you will, uh, there. And yes, uh, let's just assume, let them assume that I'm, uh, no longer of the living for now. I mean, all the others are dead and I was not as powerful as they uh so likeliness of me surviving is zero so uh in their mind so we'll just leave it as that and maybe i'll show up and surprise i mean i have i am meeting you very recently mm -hmm. you and i have begun associations but i don't uh it does not seem to me that blending in is a thing that you do like, it does not seem like... It does not seem that one meets a flit's tumble pots uh -huh. every single day. So I think you are worth more than the dime of dozens. And I would say that uh, perhaps if someone were to see you again, that it might be what they say as a giveaway. Right. But if you need to hide in plain sight, I do pulls the fanny pack that he has on. I do have a way for us to disguise you. There are people looking for you, and frankly, as I say it out loud, I could use one of those myself. Makeover! Makeover, 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 makeover. <laughs> so what's everyone doing? Like, are you all still standing in the alleyway having this conversation, or like what's going on? Yeah, because it, yeah. it seems like there, that some people are trying to stay undercover mm -hmm. in some means uh, while we navigate the festival. I will yeah, say this, also... oh, yeah. With the power vacuum in the Soul Spire Academy, mm -hmm. there are just students left. Meaning there's really no one to enforce anything with the school. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, it was literally everybody yeah. in the yeah. power. Yep. Students are going like, well, if they if the teacher doesn't show up within the next fifteen minutes, class is canceled. <laughs> we canceled. So, we go in. That's the law. Uh, they live at the school, the so week. they just they yeah. It's just, so we uh, okay. So just, just for for party. my reference, the school is. You'd be fine. No one would be looking for you. But the school isn't in this area. It's, no, it's like on another, south. It's, it's hundreds of miles away. Okay, that's what I. Th it's like south. It's on what, a, eastern. Uh, north, northeastern. It's on a. It's like on Easy. a floating kind. Of, it's like on like a landmass. That's right. That's right. In okay. the ocean, so no um, one would be here looking for you. You were. You're inconsequential to things. That's true. Ouch. Well, you're just a student. Okay. Yeah, you're just a student. I was just thousands a student. Upon thousands Didn't of get to graduate so. yet. <laughs> Didn't get to graduate yet. It was like one day away from gradu graduation was tomorrow. Yeah, How literally, graduation was graduation was what I was doing, and uh, yeah, yeah, um, quote unquote. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't worry about it. I uh, I appreciate your words. You're very kind. Uh, you know, uh, wow. And he like rubs his cheeks. He's like blushing a little bit. Um, you know, um, we let's just go. Let's just walk. Wait, wait. wait. Um. All of us have some means of getting around. Uh, what? Uh, can you fly or uh, move real fast? Or... You've all seen Flitz fly. 
right yes you can oh yeah yeah i can i can i can fly uh i actually just picked up a new trick um and you watch as he kind of focuses a bit and he picks up, he doesn't even pick it up but he like closes his eyes and the the uh amulet that has the bead um he kind of focuses on it and he pulls seemingly like pull air and the air within it almost seems to like gravitate out and then it sucks in really fast and then it almost explodes out but it like wraps itself around him um and the air beneath him picks up i'm gonna use my uh my elemental gift and i'm gonna give myself 30 feet of flying speed for 10 minutes but i hover off the ground and i just float there for a bit as the air is like circulating around and we walk next door to my wow. house <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anyone look at the fa- the flyers that have been posted while you're walking by, or just yeah, the old one, one, yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Druggle, Druggle, he'll, he'll probably be curious to see how things have changed. Also, Quine will keep an eye out until we get inside of the building. Just keep like Dax is kind of dragging their feet a little bit. All right, uh-huh. there you go. Flyers up in the group chat. <gasps> Hand out. Handouts! For the audience who can't see or read it, uh, Festival of Calming, an undeal city, 14th of Realm Fest, 69AT. Entry cost, nice. 5 silver per person. Experience food and drink from the Anundial Core. Enjoy performances from talented individuals. Take part in games, competitions, and feats of strength. Much more to discover. Celebrate the start of spring. Paid for by the Geraldin Empire. Additional fees may be required for certain games and other activities. Each guest is allowed one free meal and beverage of their choosing. Guests wishing to try more food and drink must pay their respective costs. Robbing, assaulting, or otherwise harassing others at the festival is punishable by permanent banishment from the festival and a fine to fit the crime. While we walk, coin question. Have you ever met Bahamut? Have you ever, like, spoken with him? Then. Oh, this is a, a very uh, common misconception uh-huh. that uh, people are allowed to just immediately experience. You know, I this is uh, mm. there's a certain amount of uh, my own horn tooting that I do not wish to sound. Uh, full of braggadocia but uh i am uh perhaps a more than a normal uh blessed vessel of bahamut's justice so uh sometimes he will you know speak uh through me he will sometimes and i do not mean literally speak but you know i if you see uh, an injustice and you strike it uh, like the swift claws of Bahamut then you know you are speaking Bahamut is speaking you know through you um, so uh, long story short yes I have uh, I've both uh, seen Bahamut and uh, I've like I've gleaned the meaning of uh, Bahamut's gestures, and uh, I have uh, spoken adjacently. I don't. I feel as though he has uh, blessed uh, my uh, uh, senses with his uh, uh, words that have been uh, spoken, but I do not. Uh, so, I mean, it is you and I are having a conversation. Uh, Bahamut and I have uh, not uh, communed in a way. I am uh, perhaps, uh, though I am a, a tool of an instrument of his justice, I, I do not know that I would be so blessed to have a, a, a tete a tete, as they say. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or one on one. Just, just, just wondering. Just, just wondering. I was curious. Uh, that is. Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, that sounds uh, 
like an interesting uh if i were to go back to the practice of uh having uh sermons or that is a, an interesting thought to religious experiment or thought hey man, maybe when we go and visit your temple here we can you know you can try that i mean i absolutely could i i mean i speak in my own way to him do not expect or tr try to force Bahamut to speak that seems almost sacrilege like to to spit in the face of faith that oh, yeah, you don't want to spit in expect no no right what right. is he i would not spit at Bahamut what is is he Tiamat <laughs> at uh, yes well I was just wondering I uh was curious I know some I'm... holy people have the have uh experienced such phenomena anyway he takes hmm. a little book out and he writes a little bit so where is like... everybody going we're going to the the parents' house, right? We're gonna kind of yeah. Okay, it's, it's literally like a door no. down. So <laughs> yeah, it's literally next door to the Standing coffee shop. All right, is everybody okay. going to the parents' house? It's just out of curiosity. Uh, for now, I do I do think coin is like oh yeah, disguise would probably be good. This is like just gonna fly around the space a little bit. Okay. Outside, just gonna right. hover you, a bit. You get to the front door. Like I said, I it, was, it was like half. It was not even a block. So yeah, all right. Yeah. You knock. No answer. Hey, Max, didn't we set your parents up here? Yes, Kenna, but um, I did send my father. Uh, I, I did send them uh, a letter about um, I did get the deed for the house in um the other continent. Oh, right. And I never, I haven't had time to check if he sent me back a letter or anything. So I'm assuming he's there. Um... All right. Uh, it, can I check the front door? Is it unlocked? It's locked. All right. I'm going to pull out my grimy old house key. Okay. Unlock it. Sure. <clears throat> Unlocks. Uh, and I'm just gonna walk in. Hello, anybody in just here? Just echoes because there's like a table and a bed set up in the same room. Not enough furniture to kind of space it out around the house, so it's just a table and bed. And the stairs to the second floor did cave in the last time we were here, so they've uh... been fixed. <clears throat> oh, the, it's been it's been it's been ten weeks plus, so yeah, the, the stairs are fixed. <laughs> oh, I'll have to thank your parents. And it looks like there's been the repairs stairs. done. A lot of repairs done. So. You'll definitely have to thank them, Max. They did a great job in here. Yeah, they uh, they really did. Hey, Dex, you uh, you all right? <clears throat> you, yeah, you look, yeah. You look a little down. Something going on? Just have to, but it's been it's been a while, Kenna. You know. Uh -huh. And Dax just kind of trails off and just starts looking around. All right. Um. There's a weird pile of dust on the floor, kind of in a pile, kind of uh, near the bed. And you can see it. You can see it. You can see a pair of shoes sticking out of the dust. Do you need me to clean that? <laughs> I. Nope. Nope, that's okay, Fitz. I, I can, I, it's really I, simple. No, it's okay, Fitz. Blitz, Fitz, Blitz, Blitz, and... It's okay. All right. These and nice Dax... boots, though. He goes to go pick one up. Dax <laughs> grabs Flitz's hand and just, like, claws it. And just like, I oh. would rather you didn't. Are these yours? No. Oh. Okay. Plus, they're big boots. They look like they're boots like, for a Goliath. Like, is Dax a Goliath? Yeah. <laughs> this is easy. Big feet. <laughs> Every, really, everybody has big feet. He's going to, like, pat her, her Dax their has hand. a size six shoe. <laughs> you like, pat their hand. Um, okay, oh, thank so you. so weird. 
Uh, sorry, I uh, wasn't sure. It's, you know, everything else there's is all nice. In, in there. there's, a lot, there's a lot of dust in the shoes as well. Dax just, like, takes the shoes and kind of just holds them to their chest and just kind of, like, kneels down next to the pile. And they just kind of quiet for a second. They go, I never told you the consequence of using the hand. Um... The consequence was my mother is. Dax just kind of gestures to the pile of ash on the ground. She's what? What am I missing? I'm sorry, I don't get it. Um, I don't get it. That is what you meant by you missed. Your mom. Yeah. That's right, boy. <laughs> Dad just, like, wipes away like a couple of tears that are coming down. Uh, I'm gonna turn to Flitz, like, turn my back to this scene happening in front of me and just say... <laughs> What's happened is that the cost of my life was Dex's mom's. And I walk out. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, didn't know. My apologies. Yeah, it's a lot. You've been kind of um, so what is this um, trial by fire? You've um, it looks oh. like you have decided to jump right into a bonfire of uh, emotion and experience, and you've um, sort of had to dance among the flames of our collective uh, past and future and uh, that is uh, no small feat so um, yes I would uh, perhaps invest in emotional um, fireproof moccasins if you could if you continue to uh, 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 continue to uh, come along with us on this uh, uh, journey okay well probably I really like my shoes that I have I mean, but they are good shoes. I think I will uh, be slower to jump the gun, jump the into the fire. Sure. So, Dax, what are you doing during all this? Just uh, Dax is like dumping out her tinder box. Okay. And she's gonna scoop as much of the ashes as she you can, can into the tinder. Yeah, she's scooping it. Not, and it's, it's, it's not fine dust. You can do it. Just, and, the tenor, and she's going to make sure that closes and just kind of... Uh, so that was that was on the bed? On the floor. Said? Right next to on it. The, okay. okay. I didn't want to tell you right away because... There was obviously a lot going on during that moment and afterwards. Didn't really know how to bring it up or if I should have brought it up. That is, uh, that is an unfathomable amount of weight to have to carry. And I know that you can physically carry a lot of weight, but I mean emotionally, that seems like it would break a lesser person. And though my shoulders do seem small, if you need to talk to anyone, I can carry some emotional weight, as is the training of those who are... Uh, mm, uh, champions of Bahamut they must uh, make themselves available as a vessel of communication and emotion so uh, please feel free to um, expound anything that you would need to me Dax is gonna give you a big hug this is a good hug that you've given uh, this is only positive and like 
shoulders up to to like I have to full full wingspan just to tap shoulders. Yes, struck and let's coin go so he can breathe. I have full armor on, so I'm gonna drop like a rock. You really <laughs> <just about. laughs> superhero landing uh, one knee. Well, I hate to uh, break up this moment. Uh, Yeah, perhaps only you can do this. Yes. Um, you must. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, take responsibility for this. Uh, Kenna is currently putting it on their shoulders, it seems. I, I think. Uh, she may need to hear something from you. Or they may, they would need to hear something from you. You didn't kill my mom, Kenna. Well, she's Kenna outside. left. Or they're yeah, they're I'm, outside. I, I just I like left. Dax just like sitting there, just like, but they did they I don't even know how to bring that up, drug ice. Well, either, uh, well, if I go out there and say it was all Dax's fault, she shouldn't feel bad. It won't mean as much. Speaking of Kenna, what is Kenna doing? Uh, I am uh, walking uh, to the Temple of Bahamut. Okay. It takes, it'll take about an hour and a half to uh, market ward. Okay, you'll get yeah. there in about an hour. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, Coin is going to... Uh, I mean, I need you all, maybe. I, I'm going to go over and work on this uh, disguise, uh, if you could... Maybe give me some feedback if I look the same, or you're like, oh, wow, you do not look like you at all. That would be uh, appreciated. Uh, you know, no wrong answers. Sort of a mishmash. Like, anyway, I'm going to start working. All right. On this. Uh, there, I am pulling up the stuff to do that. Is there like any remaining dust on the ground no Dax got all of it all of it okay yeah and Dax puts their mom's shoes into their bag okay well cool alright coin you're making a disguise you said mm-hmm all Righty, what kind are you trying to? What, what kind of disguise are you trying to make? Like to totally like to totally change how you look, cover things, etc. Uh, I think the main thing is I'm gonna try and throw some gloves on. I'm gonna try and make coin look as close to an old like. Like, like like old like no so another okay so something. another so another lineage okay uh all oh. oh, right there is a dc involved for that uh because it's, it's, yeah. it's an extensive change it takes about 30 oh. minutes to do so yeah. uh and would you be using deception for this there's a multiple there's multiple ways you can do this right um i'll say because you're trying to pass yourself off as another lineage it would be deception or persuasion. That just the I ability mean, check to help you make this. But you're are you, you're proficient in your disguise kit though? Yes. I am. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So for the next half hour, while you're building this elaborate disguise, roll me a d twenty and add your proficiency bonus. Yeah, and deception and uh, uh, persuasion are the same for me. What are they like? So what do you, what's the modifier on those? They're plus zero both. Ah. 
All right. Um, but I just, I just add plus four to that. Yep. D20 plus four. So to copy a, another humanoid's appearance, DC 20. Ooh. As it says in so the I book, got, yeah. I got to roll, a, so I got to roll a, at least a 16. Yep. Oh, man. I kind of want to use the Brittany die. It takes half an hour to do so, so you can keep trying every half hour. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm. I already told him I'm looking for feedback. Okay. Here we go. So, so here's the first one. Oh fuck off! Natural twenty. Nice. <laughs> so you you have this flits coin transforms natural twenty. So that'd be a twenty. Plus your proficiency bonus, 24. 24. To see through that disguise, people are going to need to make investigation checks of a 24. Passive investigation of a 24 to see through it. So, Flitz, coin looks like a fucking halfling. Like, 100% looks like a halfling. So during this time, coin or, probably... Sorry, Flitz gnome, probably wasn't gnome. Uh, Flitz yeah, probably like was like not a gnome. Paying, like, but... a, like, a, like, I want it to look like I'm a... Like, <laughs> my head is a fucking raisin. <laughs> it looks like a raisin. Like a raisin with like puffed out oh, like, yeah. That's what white it looks like. hair on top. You're looking at like a just, decrepit old gnome. Yeah, like like just that wisp oh, like yeah. mustache, wisp beard, wow. like maybe a little maybe even just for a decorative like little little maybe a little fleck of corn or something. Okay. Just like nice. Just like really, really like really just Alright, cool. Uh you can carry one such disguise on you at a time without drawing undue attention, unless you have a bag of holding or similar things so you can store. This is another disguise you made, so you can. This one can be stored in your chest if you wish. Each disguise weighs one pound, so you have this disguise, and I believe you also have the Ben disguise on you for Ven. I do. Ben have, I do have, yeah, I do. I do have Ben Cajones. Yeah. On, right, cool. on me, I believe. It takes a minute to don said disguise, <clears throat> so. Oh, it's part of a long rest. You can create a disguise. Okay, well, we'll worry about that. We'll do that later. We'll rule it that way later. But now you have yeah, you're, you look like a raisinly, dried out, decrepit gnome. Whoa, you're very, very talented. And you're fast with your tongue, you whippersnapper. You. That threw me off. That reminds me of home. Mm, it's good to think of home. I... That's a stretch. Yeah. I come from the salt marshes. Well, that's not where I come from. They call me groin sharding. Groin sharding. <laughs> groin sharding. <laughs> You know, perfect. Groin sharding. Does does this uh, this is I I please any notes that you have? Maybe there's a, that accent is not of that of one of the salt marshes. Maybe there's maybe I am uh, my bones look too too uh, hearty. Uh, maybe flit, I am. Flit. Sorry, flits based on the role. Mm -hmm. Nobody would have any t input on this. No, you look, uh, you look like, uh, some gnomes that I know. Uh, you are, you are being too kind. I will speak less and I will. No, 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 no. Keep, to, keep, to walk keep it. It's, it, it ties it all together. And if you slouch a little bit more, you got to look a little like you're kind of a little angry all the time. Like something, you know, you just like maybe uh, piss yourself just a, just a little. Like you always, uh, always do it. try and smell just like a just like a hint of just a whisper of poo. And he'll press a digitation, a little bit of a whiff of poo. Just smell a of poo. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Perfect. Smell a little bit, just like a whisper of. If you want another like whisper? A, he'll do it. <laughs> a little, uh, as if I had just uh, pinched off a rosebud for you. Well, that's my illusion. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you you, you want to sell the look. You don't want to dissuade people completely from wanting to be around you. Uh, 
Well, why not? People are a bother. This is not what I think. This is what groin charting would think. This is how the, what is you get in this actor's methods. That are is, you an actor? You, no, you know, you, no, this is I have heard. There you are should people, be. But a lot of people say that people who do these methods of acting that they are exhausting <laughs> and that they should try actually pretending rather than just subjecting others to their method but that is neither here nor there maybe don't pee on yourself maybe maybe that you know leave it to like oh you kind of maybe smell like that it's best not to be rashy for a whole festival mm-hmm exactly uh... um so to the uh the temple of Bahamut I've heard so much about or maybe we could try and find uh, Kenna hmm. Kenna knows this place better than I Spells maybe that could uh, find her, them find them Yeah, them. he's gonna lift a finger up and point and send message Oh yeah, and like nah. a radius around him. Nah. <laughs> okay, well she's not uh, anywhere where this can reach. They, they. Sorry. Where would they? Where do they tend to visit? Maybe some a nice little park, maybe. Yeah, maybe they had gone to see Dear Buell. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Okay, uh, sorry. Orox. Oh, your 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 big creature beast, things. Yes. A beast of burden. Yes, we had gotten we had gotten it from Otto's Grotto. Yeah. And emergency ration. Yes. Oh yes. Well, you know, or like a good root vegetable would be a good ration, if you will. You know, you could find those out in the wilds and leave your creatures, you know, to not uh, uh, be. Devoured. Emergence, you know, root vegetables go bad. Um, Kenna, it'd be at this yeah. point that you would arrive at the temple. Um. The Bah, the time it to Bahamut, it's a ruin basically. It looks like it's been just kind of not taken care of. Uh, mm hmm. Um. Beyond an eviction notice and police tape. <laughs> uh, the front the front doors are slightly ajar. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just gonna give a little and enter. Okay. Uh look around. Alright. Uh you'd expect to see pews and candelabras and, and everything like that for decorations. Nothing. Uh no furniture whatsoever. Uh you peek around, even the altar is gone. It looks like the the interior has been cleaned out. Uh, cool. On the ground, you can see a banner that would hold the symbol of Bahamut that's been torn and just kind of tossed to the side. Like whoever did this didn't really care. Mm -hmm. Um. Without saying anything, I'm just gonna cast mending on the banner. Okay. And start. Holding it up respectfully. It's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big banner. It's about like eighty feet tall. Okay. Because it goes from floor to ceiling almost. So. Okay. You can, is it you completely on the floor? Is there like? Oh, the, the entire banner is on the floor. Okay, so I'm just gonna start uh, folding it like a paint painter's drop, um, <clears throat> just taking my time, cool. like, fixing any tears. What's your passive perception? Uh, sixteen. Okay. Um, and then once it's all folded, I'm going to drag it to the center. Is there, like, a raised dais in the back? There isn't anything anymore. It's just bare. Completely bare. But, like, not even made of stone? Oh, Nothing there'd be that, yeah. Back. Okay, yeah, I want <clears throat> to just take it to the center of that. Um, and then just kind of sit on the steps. Um, and just, like, quietly contemplate, like, I guess like mentally sending a prayer to Bahamut but they've never really prayed to anyone or anything before so they're mm -hmm. like 
Uh, hey, Bahamut. I'm Kenna. I don't really do this a lot, as you can tell, probably, if you can hear me. I don't know. Coin says you're pretty cool, so... And, like, you've... You're... I mean, you got cool supporters. Like, Ofuk's really cool. Um, I hope he's okay. We haven't talked to him in a while. Um, but, uh... I just got some real bad news. And, and you know, my mom's gone, and no clue where my fucking dad is. Uh, sorry, I probably shouldn't say that in the temple. I'm real sorry about that. Um, uh, uh, and apparently I have siblings that I didn't know about, but we'll get to that later. Um, but you probably saw um, when we were in the mountains and Dax got big and angry and they killed me and then they used the hand to resurrect me. Um, and apparently that killed their mom for like forever. Uh, and I just found out and I feel like, uh, I, I don't know, I guess that it shouldn't have happened. I, Cause like their mom was really cool with a little bit of time I knew them. And I was like, now Dax doesn't have a mom. And I feel like we could have found another way to raise me. I don't think using the hand was worth it. And I feel like real guilty, but, but like I know it wasn't my fault, but like it's still there. And we just killed the moon. That's the thing we did. You probably saw that too. But it's like, and I should be feeling like great and all, because like we just had a really good victory. But all I can think about is how Dax's mom should still be here, and she's not. And I just don't know what to do. As you're sitting here, uh, the reason I asked your past perception is you can see somebody uh, walking in through the front doors as well, and they kind of stop and they go, Oh, I didn't realize somebody else worships. And oh, I mean, you can't, they're, I... they're kind of shrouded by like the mm -hmm. night sky now at this point but they're like standing in the doorway and they're like uh i usually come here alone it's been abandoned for quite some time now i didn't ex i didn't know there were other worshippers in the city oh uh, i'm well, not public worshippers in the city i'm i'm not technically it's just that my friend is and he kind of turned me on to it and you know the royal family worships bahamut and so I was like, I'm going through a real tough time, and so I thought, why not? Bahama is like a pretty cool dude to try and talk to. Oh. So here I am. That's how I started. Um, and they kind of enter, and you can see um, <clears throat> this sort of copper-skinned humanoid. Not like metal, but like a coppery mm -hmm. kind of color to it, like a tinge to it. Um, The sides of their head are shaved, and they've kind of got, like, tattoos tattooed uh, on the side of their head, just of, like, serpents. Uh, and they have a long, they have, like, a mohawk, but not, like, spiky or anything. It's kind of, like, just, like, a floppy one. Uh, just, like, jet black hair. Uh, and they approach, and they're wearing um, leathers, a cloak, uh, simple cloak, simple leathers, uh, short sword on their side, short sword on the other side. A belt of daggers and as they get closer you can see they have red slit like pupils and they go uh I'm uh <laughs> I'm Varys uh who are you <clears throat> uh Kenna oh, on. nice to meet you and they hold out a hand nice and you can see they've got too. really well taken care of sharp fingernails uh, I kind of like avoid getting stabbed by a fingernail and shake his hand. Uh, they then. They. Yeah. <sighs> shake our hand. Okay. Uh, so, um, is this, is this just your uh, first time here? Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up in the city, so, you know, like I walked by it, but I never, it was the first time I went inside. Oh, interesting. 
Do you know the history of this temple? Not really. Oh, it used to be. If you're if you're interested, I can tell you a little bit about it. If you're, you said sure. you're this is your first time here, and you're. It used yeah, to be I... the primary temple on the continent for a time, when Bahamut was the core deity of the pantheon for a time. People flocked here from all over to go on pilgrimages to worship the Platinum Dragon. And it was good. People were happy. People were knighted here. The uh, the queen, her father, the Geraldin Empire would use this temple to knight their knights, to knight them under the banner of Bahamut, and they gesture to the banner that's lying on the ground. The last time someone was knighted here, or attempted to be knighted here, things didn't go so well. The knights in question were attacked and killed, and in the process the temple was burned down, as you can see, and, and destroyed. Uh, and then people came in and pilfered the place, stole from it, looted it, took the altar, took anything of value. And now it's a dormant, empty. That fucking sucks. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, it's a bad habit of mine. The... This is... The Platinum Dragon does not hear people anymore, especially in this temple. So unfortunately, our words go on deaf ears. Maybe he hears, he just can't respond. That's possible. They do say... There are stories about what happened and where Bahamut is, but <clears throat> who really knows? I mean, I kind of know. Oh, do you? Yeah, we've got we've got like one of the pieces of Bahamut with a friend of mine. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, a piece of a god. How do you Can I make a real quick insight check on, on them? <laughs> go for <laughs> it. Like, any more? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, I probably shouldn't be <laughs> saying this. just lost in thought. You're a total la, 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 stranger. La, la, la. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about my life. <laughs> What'd you get? A ten. A ten. They appear trustworthy and just a person who stumbled in the temple to do their own nightly routine mm -hmm. yeah uh, so, how do you have a piece of a god the gods aren't pieces they're not they're not physical well have you heard about there was this dragon who uh and uh took over the uh the forge of bahamut um did not like care about weeks ago. such a thing so this was a thing that happened um it was one of the jobs from the Wayfarers Guild, and uh, we took this job. And I tell them, like, I tell them all about okay. how we did this job. It's like, and yeah, we found, uh, we fixed the forge, and we found this piece of Bahamut. Uh, and so uh, we're looking for more of them so we can uh, fix the guy and send him back up to, you know, Mount Celestia so he can uh, be a god again. I'm not great with <laughs> religious stuff. Right. You should ask my friend Coin about it. Coin? Coin. Coin who? I mean, it's a really hard to pronounce last name. Interesting. Coin Harting by any chance? Yeah, do you know him? Vaguely. Well, I hope you're, you get your questions answered that you're seeking. Uh, have a good night. Uh, yeah, you too. Uh, see you around at the festival most likely have a good evening Not. and they leave 
And we go back to Dax's parents' house. Yeah, say we go and find their Buell. That's kind of so com- so concerned with their Buell. I bet they're probably they're probably feeding their Buell carrots, doing that fun trick where you put a carrot in your mouth and you feed it and give it little smooches with the carrot. Yeah, I think that's probably where we'll find. That's probably where we'll find them. Yeah, nothing happened in Untoward. Ah, it'll be good. Uh, can we stop and get some food, though? I am quite hungry. I mean, yeah, certainly we could always go and see if they remember me at the punishment place. Well, I want something like hearty, like a nice vegetable stew with well, I, big loaves I, of bread. Could mm. I give you some advice? Tomorrow we are going to destroy each other with food, like ourselves. Oh, I thought we—I thought you were threatening me. Oh no, I—I I would never threaten you. No, I'm saying uh, your insides will be that we're going to test the limits of your belly basket with just a lousy amount of fried food and delicious uh, festival foods. That's tomorrow. Like we celebrate. You know, it's a planting season, so, you know, you use whatever you've got left in your winter reserves and you fry the shit out of it. That, yes, that sounds delightful, and I can't wait to be doubled my weight, but I need food now, so. I know my my boy Jax, you're probably champing at the bit for some fried food, but, you know, how are you feeling? You feeling peckish? Um, kind of lost my appetite point no yeah, what about you my other boy Druck? what do you guys what do you, come on let's, let's go uh i am concerned for kenna but uh you can wait i mean they, Ken, they, know, I, they know their way yeah ken is probably yeah, like i said feeding their buell we just, we just get a couple walk me downs and make our way to their buell and you kennel probably already on their way back I mean, is this a feast or is this a feast? Let's feast. Well, I'm just, I mean, tomorrow's the feast. Tonight, I don't want you, I don't want you right. getting packed to the gills so you don't feel like you're stuffing yourself tomorrow. This is the only time I've ever had coin during the, uh, during the festival. But also, if you guys could do me a solid and continue to call me groin sharding or just groin. Groin. Yeah, they'd be. This is a good reminder. Yeah, just because, just you know. I'll probably yeah. forget, so I'll just call you Pop. How about that? Yeah, it sounds, sounds more familiar than maybe we'd be. But you know what? That makes sense to me. All right. Uh, Peepums pop to you and groin for others. You, you, find, you know what? You, you guys find your flavor, and we'll figure it out. All right. Let's, uh, shall we proceed? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go pet dear Buell, and we'll, I'm sh- I'm. If we don't run into Kenna, I will eat my hat. So you're going to the stables. Yeah, and on the way, look for like street food or. Okay. Uh, all right. It's about uh 7 p.m. So some of that stuff is starting to like close up, like street wise food. The Glen for Punishment closed a couple hours ago, because they're just an early morning bakery. Um. Yeah, you can find street food in the market district. It's nothing really special. It's a lot of like just produce, like apples and oranges and veg, like fresh vegetables, like broccoli and carrots. Flitz is gonna get a little basket full of all types. All right, uh, five copper for everything. Sure. You've got like broccoli, carrots, celery. Corn cobs, apples, oranges, pears. Perfect. Coin would probably kick in a copper just to old, like to just eat like a pear. Okay. Just like okay, I'm gonna you know I know that there's gonna be something, but just like I know what tomorrow could be. It's gonna be an <laughs> old awesome. man eating a pear. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. Do you need me to cut that up? He pulls out a small knife. Yeah, I still got all my teeth. <laughs> They wouldn't. Yeah, it would. You'd, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I wouldn't 
bet on it. <laughs> yeah, did coin did coin conceal the very sharp, pointed fangs, or are they do they look different too? <laughs> when, I got when when he's not paying attention, there's it is that. But then, okay. <laughs> so there are still very sharp. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like it, it oh, it'd be so like yeah, behind weird. a mask. Okay, but... cool. Uh, but you all. They wouldn't uh, pop out or anything. Not like crocodile teeth. Or... You would get to this. It would take you about 10 minutes to get to the stables. And you can see the stable hand. He's outside currently just washing down some road apples. Which is horse shit for the uninitiated. Um, <laughs> just so everybody knows. Uh, Not just apples in the road. No, no. Yeah. Just, oh, here you go. Have some to eat. Delicious. I was so fucking confused. <laughs> road apples are horse. It's, it's, it's another word for horse poop. I was like, he said road. Okay. Okay. Um, but uh, he's currently just cleaning up some poop on the street. Oh. Yeah, I, one. Yeah. I haven't seen. He looks at you. There's a lot of three of you missing. I recognize two of you. Are you here for Jabule, perhaps? Uh, yes, Jabule. Um, we are just checking in, giving them a pat. We aren't heading out of town yet, so leaving them. Jabule's very upset. He holds up his basket. Rock snacks. What, what have you done? are very... What have you done to I haven't done anything. He's been alone for ten weeks from his owners, so he's feeling a little abandoned. Uh, Orocs are, <laughs> Orocs are very, Orocs were, are very res, uh, respected beasts where they come from, and he's, he just doesn't, he had attachments, and then you all sort of disappeared. Yes, well, good to be out. But are you here to pick them up, or? Not today, no. Okay. We have nowhere to put them. We are right. still traveling within town. All right. We will be here for the festival tomorrow, and then we okay. do not know where we will be heading after. All right. Did you yeah. lose the others? Did they perish? I have. I see you have. Yes, all dead. All dead. That's unfortunate. You wouldn't have happened to see one of our compatriots. Uh... Strapping youngster with a joie de vivre, as they say. A fine new beard. I yes. see a lot of my passers through are young with beards. Uh, yes, but this beard is particularly um, hair suit. It's Kenna. You know them. They've lived here for a while. Oh, I haven't seen yes. Kenna. Oh, okay. Hmm. They... Inside, inside check, but I, we don't have to yeah, he, roll it out. He hasn't seen Kenna. <laughs> <clears throat> Could we see your debut? Uh, he's currently Could... sleeping. We don't want to wake him today. I just fed oh. him a big meal and he went to sleep. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you should visit him later at some point. As a as a as a group, you know. Yeah, I'm sure when uh, that group, you know, that fiery group known as uh, the Faust and Furious, I'm sure when they're ready to re-embrace their Buell, they'll all run, arms open. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, goes, what you? The same hand what goes was back that to... you called me? Stable hand goes back to cleaning up the road apples. <laughs> I said, I said, okay, I didn't call you anything. All right. Got my eye on you. Is Kenna still at the temple? It's like wonky eyed. Yeah, I'm just hanging out there. Okay. Kind of thinking back on the conversation I just had. Okay. So, do you guys continue on towards the temple then? Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, I can show you some stomping ground. Boy! 
to be young again. But, uh, <laughs> want to, like, gesture to drop <laughs> to be. What? Uh, uh, do you have. Is, uh, do you. Do you, if you see. Um, Kenna, could you. you it's just. Uh, uh, I know that you are uh, uh, good at uh, hunting, mm. and it is a gift that you possess. I was uh, hoping, if it is not too much to ask, could you possibly maybe see if you can follow Kenneth's uh, uh, tracks as we make our way to the temple? Uh, you probably won't see, find any tracks. In a town, there's the cobbled streets, not as easy to find tracks. Uh, best to keep asking passers-by if they've seen seen them. Uh, as, as far as I've known, that is the fastest way to find someone in the city. All right, let's go. Has anyone seen my grandson? Has anyone seen my grandchild? <laughs> a passing guard is like, oh, did you lose them? Do you need help finding them? No, well, and right I'm... here. Flip this oh. like hook. Come, come look. All right, look. get get Peepums to his appointment. <laughs> the guard just turns and goes, well, you get home safe. <laughs> Wherever you're going. I earned this armor. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, you were you were rocking the armor still. <laughs> oh yeah, he's like, all right. Oh um, gosh, ding 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 ding. Sure. Yeah, you want to go? You want to fight an old man? No, I don't fight old men. Yeah. Well, I don't fight lily-livered cowards. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. He likes to pretend that he's reliving, uh, you know, a, a past. You should. Life. Yeah, fun the troll wars. There's no such thing. You <laughs> should just get him home. Oh yes, we are paying our respects just, like, at the temple. Looking. He does like a double take as he walks away. Yeah, keep walking. <laughs> but uh, you Look. can. Look, you have to sell it, but you don't want to sell it that much. I don't want to get thrown in jail. I am trying to exercise a word I had learned recently. I think the word is cantankerous. It is yes, it's cantankerous, and then there's achieved obnoxious. It, oh, oh, there's a fine. So you're saying very, a, very, very thin line. There's a, a razor thin axis. You can barely balance. see it. It is. They oh. sometimes blend in together, and you mm. went from that to that and you just kept bouncing back and forth mm. oh yeah i will uh i will make that a small adjustment and i will uh proceed uh <coughs> here we are on the edge of a district yes mm -hmm. so yell at the cards so... all right i will i'll tolerate cowards is what i'll do <laughs> so we're about so you had like what district are you going to uh, I think we are. I think we. I think uh, uh, Druck had mentioned uh, slowly making our or making our way to the temple next. Okay. Making our way. So that would be an hour. Yeah, and it'll be it'll be a, it'll be a bit of a jog, but I mean. Okay. Uh, Ven Ven's also like trying to figure out where you all went, so he's also running around. And because Ven hasn't had any long rest in 24 hours, he's making his... Oh, Ven has a level of exhaustion. Ow. Wow. Because Ven... Yeah, I all the stuff in the Magic like... City was yesterday. I also I also feel like uh, Ven, Ven's personality that we've seen so far would be a... Uh, well, no, I should. Well, when you're lost, you... You stay where you are until people find you. <laughs> just stands <laughs> put. Yeah, probably. Uh, but he he, might, he might go to the last place and just like sit down and maybe pull a bun out of his pocket. Like, 
like one of those like puzzles that you try and solve, yeah, like Sudoku, just hand puzzle. <laughs> uh, you all, nice. but you eventually you eventually get to the, uh, the, the 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 Dawn Ward where all the religious stuff is. Again, all these small little shrines and temples that have no audience or people at them whatsoever. And then there's the Halls of Eternal Life, this massive temple made of gold that reflects the sun, but now the sun is set. And there are just hundreds of hundreds of people at all every hour of every day just outside milling the grounds and praying and worshipping. Uh, yeah. The Temple to Bahamut is not too far away from there. But as you're all approaching, this would be about the same time, uh, you see a figure exit the Temple to Bahamut. Kind of take a stop, look up in the sky. They're about 40 feet away, and they they turn, and they they come, they're coming in your direction. And as, oh. and as they approach, you can see a, a humanoid figure, copper-colored skin, red slit eyes, tattoos on the side of the head. Coin, you would recognize the mouth. As they pass by, they say, oh, good evening, everyone. And they just keep walking. Good evening. Sorry, what was that? Uh, he, uh, we, we would like rambles. to know if you've ah. seen a friend of ours. Mm. Mm. Uh, Lovely beard. Oh, uh, there's someone that matches that description inside the temple, actually. Oh. I don't know if the beard's lovely. I don't think the beard's lovely. And then is they, it? then they, <laughs> this is when they, they're, they're having that conversation, and then at the mention of that, they stop their walk. They turn around and they come back. Uh, you're aware they might, they, they seem like they're in some sort of crisis. What kind of crisis? Just sort of amongst themselves. Belly aches. We had a lot of donuts. A more there. emotional crisis. Yeah, and what do you care of emotions? <laughs> it's pumps. It's okay. Everyone People have has emotions. emotions, old man. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pumps? when the sun goes down, he gets a little. We fed him. We yes, we oh. fed him. Coin, coin's the fully sun... going to throw a punch. There's a, you guys need to do something to intervene right now. He's, Dax uh, is gonna grab him yeah. and like hug him. Okay. Like... Uh, strength. Dax, you're making an athletics check. Coin, you're making athletics or acrobatics if you're trying to break out. This this this, this guy just like sees all or this uh, person just sees all this happening. And they're like, is are they all right? You're all, you're all, you're. Odin oh, can take a risk. That was that was athletic. You said Ath athletics for you. It's athletics or acrobatics because you're defending. Drex gonna take one of those as this is starting to go down. Drex gonna take one of those side steps. <laughs> He's like, what, <laughs> man? <laughs> and kind of try to just uh, at w while the attention is focused on coin. He's just gonna kind of in around uh the nearest area like the yeah. nearest like you're out uh, in the middle of the street great with no I'll get one behind around. them then <laughs> okay you get behind yeah. them yeah great there it is all right coin what'd you get for your acrobatics or athletics seven dax 26 so yeah coin is just dax just like picks them up you know how you like console like a child <clears throat> Dax uh, just picks them up like that and just puts their hand by their head and just telepathically to them just goes, I will help you kill them later. Just there is right a, now. Shh. So as you scooped him, you scooped him on a full Charlie Brown kick as a football got taken out of way. That's a Excuse full... me, but uh, he looks, now he's looking, at, he's looking at Dax and you can see his eyes flicker for a moment. Who are you going to kill? Oh, there are these people who sometimes he sees wandering around. It's the shadow people, he calls mm, them. Interesting. You just, you have, you have to tell him that, just to, you All right. know what I mean. Uh, just well, dangling legs, dangling Your legs. friend that you're looking for, the one that at least mm. matches the description, is inside the temple. Have a good evening. They turn around, they see Drock. Oh, excuse me, and they push past you. Hey, good evening. Um, 
Dax is still holding on and doing the just, thing, just waiting until so they're way right out now. of fucking. So fucking pissed right now. Maybe we should go inside. So angry. Let's go. Flux is just gonna start walking inside. <laughs> so fucking angry. Dax just, just gonna continue to carry coin. Coming right. out of my head. All right. So guys angry. Melting. <laughs> just, just. Okay. Like. All right, all right. Oh, let's, spirit uh, let's gum get is flaking. Let's, just let's, so let's angry. Let's <laughs> okay, inside. you get you all get into the temple. Dex still holding on the coin, and you can see. Let's we'll close the door. You can see the temple is completely ransacked. There's nothing of value left in. Uh, one banner that's been completely repaired. You can see Kenna sitting on top of the the steps leading up to what was once a dais. Ah. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Kenna, you see, you see Dax holding a very elderly-looking gnome. Uh, two questions. One, who is that? And two, why are you holding him? Oh, we made a new friend, Kenna. Didn't we, Fitz? Coin, are you trying, you know, to, bra- are you trying to break out again? Yeah. Uh, Acrobatics or athletics? Dax? Just... Uh, uh, athletics? athletics? Yeah. You know, we just picked him up off the street. Thought it'd be a lot of fun. Ah. Uh, oh, you know, it's the festival. Have a little bit. The festival's you tomorrow. Know. Why did you just kidnap an an old gnome? And Dax is just like because they're talking to Kenna. They're totally not paying attention because they rolled an eleven. <laughs> uh, that is a putting a foot onto your chest, back flipping out. That was a. I do, oh fucking go for it I do want to grab onto the collar of your shirt and be like if you ever stop me again from killing that person um, just point. like and then just climbing down and going just like going right to Ken and being like what happened what is what? Coin? Yeah. Is that you? Coin is so mad the accent is just gone. <laughs> yeah. Is that you, Corn? Floating between two of them right now. <laughs> uh, well, it was just this dude. His name was like, uh, started with a V. Um, I completely forgot because I'm so emotional Corn's right now. Just like, <laughs> what just, was his name? Just, just shadow boxing. Just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin, what was his name again? He said they told you Varnus, I believe. Yes, they told me Varnus. Uh, their their name was Varnus. That was um, a lie. Uh, okay. Um, and like you know, we just chatted a bit. Um, apparently they uh, uh, you come here every once in a while. Um, Woo! Woo! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, are you okay, Coin? You should continue. <laughs> All right. Um, Just yeah, a we... small little prune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not even, not so even doing the old man. Not even doing the old man body. hunch anymore. Oh, Just. Nice. <laughs> um. Yeah. We we just chatted, and uh, you know, um, uh, I told them about how I got here. You know, like theocratically and also like, physically, um, and like you know we talked about Bahamut and how he was like, you know, <laughs> dispersed in case they fucking care right now. <laughs> so good. Uh, and how, you know, we thought that Bahamut was split into like these four pieces and how we've been hunting down these pieces and how we had one of them already. <laughs> and then he asked about you, or they asked about you um and you know that sounded a little weird so i didn't like fully say that i knew you but i gave them gave them your first name and that was a little weird and then they left and then a few minutes you guys came in so who was it that who were they they, there, they, looked are, there like they are there any other any pews left or anything no completely 
removed. Is there is there is there anything left inside the temple at all? Like rubble from when like it burned and collapsed inward. Okay, uh, coin is going to go over to just a pile of rubble. Mm -hmm. Just pull out a sword and just start fucking stabbing. Just like fucking stabbing. I, I, I don't think that's good for the blade. Ah! I think that that's how you really <laughs> don't. It's a magic sword. It's, it's gonna be fine. I, I am think... untethered with rage. <laughs> Oh, I am untethered in my rage. No, no bats. That's the hate flow coin. <laughs> ting, ting, ting. It's very loud. Uh, Throws the sword down. What the absolute fuck? You hear the door open to the temple, and you see Ven walk in. Oh, I was given oh, hey, directions. Who is the old man? Oh, I think we kidnapped it's him. Coin. No, I think it's Coin. Uh, Groin Sharting. This is Van. <laughs> Van Groin Sharting. And goes right. Okay. And then steps in. Closes the door behind him. It's like him. Ben Quijones. I think it's... This is Van Coin. looks tired as fuck. You alright, dude? I haven't slept in over 24 hours, as you recall. Yeah. Yeah. The city, Maybe. the magic city was yesterday. Yeah. Sure take was. you a little nap, you know? Take you a little. A I'll little wait for breather. everybody else. I, th I thought we were going to the festival tomorrow. Can't... Oh, we are. We just. He, uh, Queen is going through something mm. at the moment. Hands Kenna uh, the diamond that you wanted. Mm hmm. And says, I couldn't find anything with. Draconic iconography on it for that much, and he hands you the 500 gold back. Uh, oh, and he gives Flitz a feather. Okay. <laughs> is it blue? What yes, color is it? It's blue. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for looking, Ben. Oh, thank you. And then sits down on some of the rubble. Coin, how did he know I used telepathy on you? Yeah, Quan, who was that dude? How, who were they? Because, like, I'm fine with helping you kill this guy. Like, I, no questions they, asked, them. but... I am totally fine with helping you kill them. Like, no questions asked, Coin, they, but... Uh, that is, uh... No, that is, uh... uh mm -hmm. Okay, that's, uh... So, you have, uh... Met... Uh, one spirit, and that was uh, the bird person, as you said. Uh, they had. Um, if we are to believe that the spirits <coughs> that we had met um, were speaking somewhat accurately to us, yes, then that is what you had understood, correct? Nods. So. The bird had uh, confessed to um, being assigned to try and assassinate uh, me and Yadalin uh, with another um, recruit who has uh, come to acquire the name Bruce um, and uh, so, just to let you know, the mouth is the words and lies of the gang who had tried to recruit me. And I was, I was to become the Reach. That was the name they were going to give me because I can get things that you cannot get. And they convinced me to use my wings to help them thieve. And I can get into small places. And I was to become the rich, and all I wanted was a name. So they took what I wanted, and they got what they wanted. And instead of honoring that and becoming part of a family, they... 
turned on me as soon as they could and also tried to make sure that no one knew their traces were followed so they tried to have me killed and I found my way to this temple and I thought I was okay and then they had me and Yadlin assassinated. I am I am uh, for sure going to just absolutely destroy the mouth. Uh, I'm 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 going to by hook or by crook I am going to uh, dismantle their every breathing being, every cell of their body I am going to just tear asunder. I oh, oh. Oh, mm. what did you call them? The what? The mouth? Everyone who joins the gang gets a designation based on their abilities, based on what function they believe they could be. The mouth speaks and lies. I was known as the Reach. They wanted to call me. They said the Reach or the Wingspan. As I am of a diminutive size, I thought the Wingspan would be inappropriate to have been taken in by a liar. And if he tries to mention Bahamut again, I will. I, if they try to speak of Bahamut, I will absolutely rip their tongue out of their face, and I will I will chew it up for them, and I will feed it to them, like uh, like a like a grown bird does to a baby bird. And they I will seem, force them to eat it. They seemed pretty chill when I was talking to them earlier. It sounds like you're talking about a completely different person. Those are the fucking lies. The lies! And just grabbing the sword, just stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. Into the hey, rocks. hey, Coin. I'm sorry. If uh, if they tricked me, then that's on me. Um, I believe you more than I believe them, and whatever the hell they were talking about, I trust you. Um, and so if I ever see them again, I will know better. Hello. <clears throat> yeah. When they entered here, where were they? Be moving to heading, and you see Druk kind of looking at the altar. A little. They were they were headed towards you, kind of where you were sitting, where the altar was, used to be on top mm -hmm. of the dais. I mean, they looked surprised when they came in to see someone, and then we just kind of chatted here for a few minutes, and then they left. No nod and point to what looks like a. Uh, little scratching that doesn't look like a natural scratching coin do you know what this what this might mean so, so when you when you go to look at the where the where the altar used to be on top of this day is where Kenna was sitting when you came in you can see scratch marks that somebody did it looks like somebody like scratched something into uh, the surface of this dais where the altar used to be and it just looks like a couple of lines that don't make any sense <clears throat> These uh, look to be lines that do not make any sense. So, I mean, does it, does Van, have you seen this script before? It just looks like a couple lines. Uh, well, I mean, based on their orientation, it does remind me of the southern view of the city. Uh, and then this arrangement looks uh, as a passageway almost. Uh, to me, it says Southern Door. I do not know what that. And like, so coins looking at that scratch, and then looks towards the s the steps. 
mm -hmm. up to the dais where the last place he saw Yodelin's living mm -hmm. body as it kicked off and just like looking at like where he saw the pooled blood and it's still like, so that is still very much stained into the stone forgot to mention that Uh, then coin is going to <clears throat> uh, take off both gloves, put them under an arm, lick a thumb, mix it in whatever stained blood, mm -hmm. and just start marking on his arm. Okay. Firing in. And writing, uh, writing uh, the passage of Bahamut like right on his wrist to see okay, cool. whatever's left of the blood just like All right. yeah, real dark y'all yeah, gather up some dark, stone and dirt like discarded rubble and such and at the top of the dais where the altar would be mm -hmm. so there is no altar right Correct. he's going to kind of gather up this little pile of stone and just dirt from around within and he's going to focus a bit and he's going to cast mold earth mm -hmm. and he's going to manipulate it slowly to make it look like the uh, I guess the like visage of Bahamut I don't know exactly what his holy symbol I guess looking at coins shield is it on his on their shield mm-hmm yeah, trying to every so often looking over and checking, and he's gonna manipulate it to where, just right in the center, in in the the dais, dais okay. it's gonna have the to the little <clears throat> symbol of Bahamut there. All right. How big is it? Uh, it would be a five foot cube. It of, could fit in a five foot cube. Of stone? Okay. It's more like, so I can create, I can, uh, if the dirt is stone, uh, do, 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 do. You could cause shapes, colors, or both to appear on dirt or stone, spelling out words, creating images, or shaping patterns. Okay. So I'm going to create that image there. Cool. After Coin gets done mixing uh, uh, blood with spit and putting that on the back of his hands and on his wrists. He put the gloves back on, grab out the knife that he has just like a dagger and just fucking start scratching in, yodeling the patient Okay. on the stone where the, the blood and so the blood and stone are just like scraping away. It's like yodeling okay. the patient. Just, just fucking scratching in, in, uh, in Draconic. Okay. Yeah. One of the first things he learned to write. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh. All right. Um. Truck's gonna have a look around. Investigation he, check. Yeah, he saw that this thing said Southern Door. Um, he's thinking maybe there's a secret passage around mm -hmm. here. Maybe okay. there's a secret. Uh, associated with yep. what's going on here, and he's going to have a look around. Okay. Um, yeah, it's bad for me. Um, minus one? <laughs> That's a three. Three? Um, not really. Ven will get up. Oh! What are you looking for, Druck? <clears throat> this, uh, marking. I swear it says something like s Southern Door. Do you want a hand uh, looking? Yes, please. I forgot Ven has exhaustion. Okay. Druck over here. And he's, like, currently behind it. Behind the dais, and he's, like, looking towards, like, the bottom step of the dais at the back, and you can see... There's a little button that matches the exact same texture and color of the stone. 
it's not raised, but it's just it's carved into the step. A little tiny button that looks like you just push down. Groin. Uh, groin. Let's <laughs> <clears throat> say I have currently dropped the pretense of. Like kind of, uh, there's so so sweat maybe being dressed, it could have some, some of this some of this gross like wispy hair just like, have um, uh, dropped uh, some of the pretense uh, as he's he's like a real fucked up sorry just like uh, putting gloves back on hmm. yes what uh, how how do we... Well, we found a secret passageway. Potentially. There's the fuck? A, there's a button. You, you remember how I mentioned the southern door? It's, it says something to that effect uh, within those scratchings. Uh, it seems as though there's a, the person that you knew was trying to get somewhere, but someone was here when they were not expecting. So do you want to go where they were trying to go? Yes. yes. So yes. cool. And then, like you mentioned them, just like a. You just spit motherfucker. in the temple of the Bahamut. <laughs> I spit at the mention of that motherfucker. Okay. <coughs> All right. Let's right. work. As Flit's working on that, he'll see that, but he'll press the digitate the spit. <laughs> okay. That one. Nice. That one coin does. Coin is really <laughs> side eye. It's like. He's like. <laughs> right then it's like oh there it is just right here coin yeah coin, that, around the back of the day as uh, you can see a button that's been carved into the bottom step uh, and it's level with the step it's not raised it's meant to be like concealed no I will not ask you to wait till tomorrow for this no, I will. I will press the button now, and we will proceed. <laughs> we will yes. proceed Vendus. into the. All right. <coughs> the, the, uh, yes, we. I do not mm. ask you to come with me. Yes. But I do. I do ask that if you see if you see that. Backfeffin gesagt again that you hold on to them either with your words or maybe perhaps with your very strong capable hands and he looks at Dax with a little bit of ah. Dax and just kind of like gives a nod and is trying to cover her laugh because seeing Coin just go full feral for once, she is just like internally like, oh, this is so cute. It, and and if that were to, to, to come out. Stab. Flames. Uh, it's like, oh. So coin pushes the button. I would, I would like very much to, <laughs> to speak. With them. Dead or alive, coin. I, I can make that happen if oh, you when... do wish to speak with them after the fact. Whatever works. Before and after. <laughs> okay. And then I can Whatever resurrect them, and uh, you can kill them again. I, I got three Great. diamonds. You can kill you can kill them three times. You could have mine if you really want. I'm sure the person you murdered would love to get brought back because they would know that you're bringing them back to get murdered again. We could maybe get away with it one time. One if time. your soul is willing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, maybe. Because, <laughs> yeah, the, the, you know well, who resurrected you. Shame on Yeah, that's true. Right. Just, just, so, just coin push the big old button. Oh, with a fist, just a closed fist. Okay. Uh, Punch it. 
you kind of crack the stone a little bit, uh, and the day is just sort of sliding, uh, uh. sliding southwards. So it would be going pushing ahead of coin. So it just grinds in front of coin, revealing a stone staircase going down. Flitz just and rides a, the and a well stone. lit tunnel. Torches that are lit in the tunnel on the walls just. And this looks like a recent tunnel. Like, it's been made recent. Not, like, super, super recent, but it's pretty dust free, dust and cobweb free. Then I, I do not ask you to come with me, but I would ask that perhaps maybe you stay topside. Uh, I think this might you... take a session or two, so I'm going to come with. This is a very specific... Winky face. I don't want to leave. I feel like the person who's puppeting me right now doesn't want to leave the player with nothing to do when they get back. <clears throat> that is fair. And uh, I was thinking that you could come down whenever you wanted, but I wanted to make sure that you weren't in harm's way <coughs> while someone else was um, perhaps puppeting. I'll be okay. But I'll just yeah, stay whatever in the back. we do, you're behind, baby. <laughs> yeah, the it reveals this uh, ten foot wide uh, descending staircase into a ten foot wide dis- corridor of stone, flickering torchlight. So it's ten feet wide. So you can t- walk two people abreast if you want. But that is the corridor. You just see down, uh, down some steps. As that opens, Flit is just going to like look around and recast, re up his mage armor. Yeah, Ven will probably do that too. <laughs> and uh, Coin will just, I, I do not ask any of you to follow me and just heavy steps straight down. All right. Does everybody follow? I'm going to follow. Yeah. So we'll jump just... off the dais into the <clears throat> stairwell. I also realize to... I still yeah. have the uh... Brian sharding face on. You do. <laughs> yeah. You do. What's that, Druk? I suppose as we start to head down there, Druk's going to kind of shoulder jet Dax and uh, uh, how have you been? Obviously, it's the time for a long conversation. I'm here, just take this. <clears throat> and he gives you the cloak of Arachnida. Uh, oh, t- t- thanks, truck. Uh, and Dax just... And... Okay. You do have to do it to around. use it, but... Bunch of other things. I'll add it to your character sheet. <clears throat> G+. Plus. All right. Thanks, truck. Who's in the lead? Uh, coin, I obviously. Coin. Coin. <laughs> coin a million times. A right. million times coin. Coin, what's your, what's your <laughs> passive investigation? Oh, 10. It's absolute dog shit. Okay, you're in the front. Gunk. And you all watch as the torches on the wall kind of flare to life briefly. It's a weird noise. And you can see, you hear grinding noises as numerous holes start to appear all along this corridor. Just... And then <clears throat> the corridor is filled with... <laughs> just sh- sharp shrapnel covered in what looks like green liquid. I need everyone to make dexterity saves, please. Oh, no. <clears throat> Uh, anyone near coin gets a plus one. Yeah, you can have, we can have, it's like I said, the corridor is two abreast. So it would be anyone within 10 feet of coin. So that would leave Ven out of it, because Ven's in the very back. Mm-hmm. Whoever's in front of Ven, that would leave them out. See, so yeah, actually, I need to know the marching order. So it's coin, who's behind coin? I think Flitz said Flitz dropped down next. So it's coin, Flitz, who's behind Flitz? I'll be behind coin. Well, you'd be behind uh, Flitz. Or- I'll be behind if it's, So well, we're two abreast. So we could say, yeah. Yeah, you could say I mean, me and side. Coin could... Essentially, Flitz would probably be, like, right here. Like, okay, cool. walking almost... Okay. Not so shoulder who, to shoulder, so but... who would be the next, two, the next two behind that? Druk said he shoulder checked Dax, so I'm assuming Druk and Dax are shoulder to shoulder. So who's behind Coin and Flitz? I'll be solo behind Coin and Flitz. Okay, so then it'll be Cause... Druk and Dax and mm-hmm. Ven. So everybody but Ven gets a plus one on their deck save. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Ven got a nine. <clears throat> hey, me too. Okay. I got a twenty-five. Okay. Cool. All right. Give me a sec. 
I gotta remember what trap this was because I made these notes and someone gave me their backstory. Yesterday. Maybe it's a long time ago. <laughs> Yesterday. Uh, fuck, All where did I put so these? Tough. If I'm being <laughs> honest, <laughs> when I gave you my backstory, I thought I would be arc one or two. <laughs> I mean, whenever you guys wanted to do it is when I had it set for. That's true. I mean, yeah. that's fair. No, no. But now that you're level okay. eleven or ten, things some things <laughs> will have to change. Uh huh. All right. <clears throat> Fuck. What I'm just wondering when the Beatles are gonna be in the public domain. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. If it's people keep buying years. that catalog. All right. Here years, we go. Guys. Here we go. Okay. Oh, sorry. It was con saves, not decks. Oh. I looked at the wrong one. Apparently it's con. They roll again? Nah, just uh, yeah. I want everyone roll again because <laughs> I fucked it up. Oh no! <laughs> ben got a natural no. one. Maybe I should have said no. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, if I just if I just add a plus four so instead of this a plus is considered six. a deadly threat for levels one to four because I mean it's a hideout. The DC's twenty, so Ooh. and it's pulled straight yeah. of Xanathar's. I think guy, everybody so. failed. So I don't think anybody succeeded. So everybody failed. Coin, what'd you get? Nineteen. Yeah, we all failed. Nineteen. Okay. Eleven poison damage. Sexy. Well poisoned in this way, the creature is paralyzed. So you're poisoned and paralyzed. The coin just. <laughs> uh, That's all of us. <laughs> Kenna, what'd you get? <clears throat> Fifteen. 15. Uh, 11 poison damage, and you're also poisoned and paralyzed. You also. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hilarious. Drunk. Mm -hmm. Do you know why this is hilarious? Because uh, I just I'm gave away the thing that makes me immune to poison. <laughs> I'm resistant to poison. Uh, so uh... roll again. I'll let you roll again. It's poison damage you take anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, do you have advantage on saving throws to resist? Oh, I do have advantage. Thank you. On saving throws to resist <clears throat> poison. Yes. I got lower. Why do you have that? What's that from? Belt of Dwarven Kind. Right. Okay, but you still take half the damage, though. so you take five poison damage instead of eleven. Cool, and, and I'm also still paralyzed. <clears throat> poison and paralyzed. You. Yeah. Druk. What Druk did? Oh right, yes, I got a seventeen. Wow, eleven poison damage, poison and paralyzed. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dax. 16. 11 poison damage, poisoned and paralyzed. Flitz. 18. <laughs> 11 poison damage, poisoned and paralyzed. Flitz We're all paralyzed. dominoes. <laughs> we just all fall. Then, 11 poison damage. So you all become paralyzed and poisoned uh, for a certain amount of time. It just it's, it's a duration one. You don't save for that one continually. Uh, yeah. And uh, that's where we're going to take a break. Is you all just <laughs> one by one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, that's a weird noise. Oh. <laughs> but uh, we'll pick up in back in 10 minutes after our break, which is funny because this effect lasts for 10 minutes. So. Real time. Wow. Uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes, everybody. Bye. <laughs>
Party, the Faust and the Furious have entered a secret tunnel underneath the Temple to Bahamut, activated a trap immediately, <laughs> and now everyone is laying on the ground, poisoned and paralyzed for ten minutes, and as you're all laying here, you hear voices and footsteps approaching from the tunnel in the direction you're headed, going, I heard, I heard something go off, I heard someone activate one of the traps, and you can hear footsteps approaching. Justin, I love that voice. Do not quit it. I'll try not to fuck it up. Um, and you can see, uh, you can hear you can see you can see figures at the end of the corridor, and they're approaching with they're approaching, and they they got like swords drawn, and you can see they're just they're two or they're three. Uh, one's a, the one in the lead is a human dude with just really a scraggly beard. Uh, he's missing all of his teeth except for two in the front, the uppers. Um, slicked back brown hair that's balding severely. Uh, and he's just wearing leathers. He approaches and goes, Oh, yes, sir, on the floor. What happened here? And he kicks one of you. And he kicks. Who's he going to kick? The old dude. <laughs> uh... Well, let's see what they got on him. Take all this stuff. Pick him up. And uh, you can see another one that's approaching is this half-orc. Muscular half-orc. And he just starts... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. And he grabs Flitz by the collar and just hoists Flitz up. He's gonna f hoist up the old man. Oi! But wait, take him! And you see a dwarf approach. And the dwarf just starts taking everybody's weapons.
and Cohen, you see them grab the Platinum Fader Schwert, or whatever you renamed it to, and uh, Moldraka. It was, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get you that. Moldraka Jägerin or whatever. They grab that. Yeah. Moldraka Jägerin. And they start uh, going down the corridor. Do they take my crystal? No, they don't know what the fuck that is. They just take Sweet. weapons. Just One of, obvious weapons? Obvious weapons that are just okay. Okay. seen. Um, you take the stuff and take the money! Oh, and uh, the 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 half-work is also going to pinch everyone's coin purses off. Flitz doesn't have a coin purse. Once money stays Kill this in his... one. It's got nothing. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Useless. He is, his money stays in his. Uh... Right, right. That's right. Yep. His bottle. I his... found a bottle. <laughs> and they shake the bottle. Empty. Trash. He breaks it. If he fucking breaks it. <laughs> <laughs> You all can see him holding the, holding the, the bottle. He's like, it's trash, no of anything. You're about to have two pissed off small people. <laughs> Fucking small folk. <gasps> and they just bring you all. The ones that they, that are too big are just being dragged down the corridor. So Druk, Kenna, Dax, and Van are being dragged from behind. Mm-hmm. Did that, did that? Was that just a joke, or did that really happen? No, that, that really bottle just, just get shattered. And, that bottle uh, just coin, got shattered. Coin spills about two thousand golds worth of coins just <laughs> from the smash bottle. Uh, like the it, half, the dwarf, the humans, like, oh, take them to the chamber. Take them. I'm gonna gather this up. And he starts going down, starts collecting all those coins that just like spilled it over the floor. While the rest of you are uh, taken down this corridor, you're being dragged uh, behind. It's only been like a couple minutes. You're just being dragged. You're paralyzed. You can't do anything. You're being dragged down this corridor. Flits. You can just see from the way you're held on like this. It's your head, uh, your head's positioned backwards, so you can see the pot and this human just picking through the coins. Um, you you get taken around a corner, and uh, you see this human uh, take out a little like uh, what looks like a little iron rod it does not look like it's magical in any way it does not look like a chunk <laughs> opening and he just goes like he hits three uh, certain points in the door like tink 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 and like sorry three certain points in a wall and the wall opens is that, up like a door it's going forward facing uh yes sure remember I, I, if, I, if I could I don't know what I would need to roll. You could, uh, it'd be perception. Reason, but... We'll say perception check to try to memorize okay, it. Yeah, I, I, Drug's I, I being wanna, dragged wanna... from behind like this, <laughs> so Drug doesn't see it. It would be, yeah, it would be, I would want to, like, memorize Yeah, that. that'd be, just do a perception check. Yeah, paralyzed, but I'm memorizing. It's a 19 even. Nice, yeah, you memorize it, you clock it. And he opens this door, drags you all in, you can see there's a shitty cell. Uh, like a rusty, shitty cell, and there's a skeleton in there already. Oh, oh, sorry, Justin. The vessel has an AC. It does have an AC, and it does have hit points. Okay. So he's going to hit, throw it on the ground. We'll say an arm strike. It's an AC 17. It's my small save. Bounces and starts rolling down the corridor. He's like, ah, junk. So never mind, it doesn't break open. He just leaves it. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, oh. I was like looking. I was like frantically like. <laughs> he just, so okay, instead, instead of breaking it up, he looks down at it and just kicks it down the corridor towards where you came from. He's like, junk. Okay. And he's going to follow behind. You all get brought into this room. Uh, you can see all of your belongings. Uh, not your armor, because they're like, oh, it's going to take too long to take off. They take all of your weapons. Let's see how they do, they do an investigation check. Okay. All of your weapons. Not your tools. <laughs> can I ask one more mm -hmm. question? And could I? Uh, I can make a roll for this. Probably perception. I assume. Actually, could. What's the question? I need to see if I need to see if paralysis makes you incapacitated. Because if that's the case, you can't do anything. Oh, okay, that's fair. I was going to see if I could look at the keychain. For what purpose? To 
to memorize what the keys look like. Okay, we haven't seen a keychain yet. Okay. Uh, but uh, they bring you all to this room. There's this huge chest that they open up, and they just start tossing your weapons in it. <clears throat> just th 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 th. Channel 40 supplies the figure to a string. And you can see one of them digging through Ven stuff. They pull out the potion of superior healing. Oh, this is good get. And he ties it off on his own waist. I'm going to remove that from Ven's equipment temporarily. What else? Hey, this tiefling's got a lot of diamonds on him. He takes all nine diamonds. All right, put him into cell. Then you all get tossed in the cell. What else is what else does everybody else have on them that I want to take? Not a lot of time here to do Blitz so. This does have a pouch, but this is a component pouch, and it's filled with just like all bearings, right? random ass shit. Oh, and he does have a he's couple. Look, he's looking through your component pouch. He just goes garbage and just dumps it out on the floor. <laughs> oh. this, this motherfucker. Rage. Is, no, this motherfucker chose violence today. Yes. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hey, Cannon, I'm looking through your spells. You can't have Talia's Tooth Cannon. That's a spell for our Thursday game that I home for it. <laughs> cool. Oh I my like god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's part of my druid spell so I don't know if I can unprepare oh. it it's weird of... okay I will fix yeah. that okay <laughs> weird yeah. alright never mind you seem confused I Ignore opened me. my character I'll sheet and it. it was there I'll fix it. I was like okay. what alright never mind um, I mean like... Talia does just appear and just yeah. <laughs> flashes <laughs> on to you uh, like they're looking through kind of stuff a bottle of glue dumb <laughs> Ooh, they take your, they'll take your potion of greater healing and your potion of superior healing. Okay. We're getting real close to ten minutes. They're, they have you in the cell now. Uh -huh. You're all just like mm -hmm. you're all manacled and chained by the ankles and wrists. Um. Man, they don't want to take anything off a drug. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. What was this? And you can see one of them. Pull out the laser pistol. He's looking oh, at it like God. this, though. Look down the barrel. He's looking down the barrel. Like, oh, what's, what's this? <laughs> and... Oh my God! Give us that fifty-fifty. Oh my God! Come on. He's drunk. You see him looking down the barrel of it, and he just goes. <laughs> and he just collapses what? backwards, and the half orc goes, "Oh, I've taken that," and he picks it up. <clears throat> Looks down at his dead friend. <laughs> That's fine. Blame it on Dim. And the human gets back. Uh, you yeah, so I'll remove the laser pistol from your equipment temporarily. And, uh... Uh, I'm also marking it as 18 charges instead of 19, since one of them <laughs> was just used. It just blew his head. Yeah, it just blew the head off. It's just, like, leaking everywhere. Uh, coin... They take your potion of superior healing. And the orc's like, I've always want a boomerang. And takes the boomerang. Son of a bitch. And Son finally, bitch. for Dax. That wasn't, that wasn't one of the weapons? Oh, right, it's yeah, the chest. You, you no, no, it's in the chest. He's like, yeah, he's like, oh, I want a I boomerang. And he takes the boomerang. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dax, they take... <laughs> opens up the tinderbox. Oh, this tinderbox is full of dirt. <laughs> No. <laughs> These right. motherfuckers absolutely chose violence today. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, why would I want oh. this? It just throws it Has on it... the floor. <laughs> Has it been ten minutes yet? It, we're getting right there. Uh, He's trying to make us as mad as he fucking yeah. can. <laughs> That's the point. Uh, and then Dax, they're going to take... Oh, look at this! And he, show, he like shows the human who walks in and goes... And he shows the tentacle rod and takes a tentacle rod. Uh, and then they lock you all in the cells. And they walk out. You hear the door. You see the door closed. They leave the body in the cell. As they're, as they're locking, am I seeing those keys? Am I peeping them keys? Uh, you can do a perception check. Okay. Let me double check. Thank you. Paralyzed, though. 
Yeah, it, it, whatever the ruling is, I accept the judgment. You're incapacitated, so you can't take actions. Perception checks are considered actions. But this is, you're not really taking, you're just kind of staring ahead. So make a perception check. Okay. The mask is kind of shifted oddly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staring out the eye hole. Yeah. <laughs> like a mouthful. Sure. Jesus. Yeah. No, well, I mean, that's just a little weird flavor, but we check. could all do it on the table. All right. Christ, the dice tell a tale. Nah, no good luck. That's a him. one. No good luck. It's a nat him. one for those of you listening, um, possibly watching. But as nat soon, one. As soon as the doors close, they take all your shit. They scatter shit on the floor. Like, uh, door closes. And as soon as the door closes, you all snap out of the paralysis and poison, chained to the walls by your wrists and ankles. In okay. this very small cramped cell with a corpse already in here. Dax goes. Mother. And just tries to bear down and break out of the chains. Athletics check. Flits the wind. He speaks an incantation in Primordial, and the wind around him whips, and he disappears into a mist and appears on the other side of the okay. Dex, what did you get out of your athletics check? 28. 28. You just... You pull, your, you pull your hands free, but they're still manacled together. <clears throat> Uh, I I also you cast don't have another Misty action step. yet. Okay, can Fair. I cast Misty Step and just? Yeah. All right. Next to uh, Flex. Yeah. Uh, You're like, <laughs> Druck, what are you doing? You can see the dead uh, the dead guy who's in this cell with you. His head is completely gone. <clears throat> oh jeez. Man, I'm trying to think of like what's in what I have available. Probably nothing, right? Like, other than... They just took your weapons and what I said they took. Oh, okay, okay. Um... Okay. They took 2,700 gold worth of diamonds from Ven. Uh, Druck is just gonna be, uh... Placid... Placid waters. It's... On the surface, just plastic. Really, really Bruce Lee, your Bruce Lee moment. Be like the water, my friend. He's oh, just, uh, uh, he Kenna gets up. does. Sorry, Kenna, does Missy Step require somatic components? Because if so, you can't cast it because your hands would be. No. Okay, cool. Just vocal. For, uh, vocal only. Okay, cool. So uh, I was literally scrolling through <laughs> my spells. Like, <laughs> I suppose uh, he's going to try and do a. Uh, try and use thieves tools to get out of this uh because you're like this i'll say disadvantage because you're like you're manacled by your wrists oh so like i'd have to like see if i can't get at the with my with my toes well your toes like, yeah your toes, your toes like are also your feet, wrists, your feet so are like, also like yeah manacled together so it's oh well there's no way i can get to my thieves tools then so i'm Correct. just gonna sit here <laughs> Ven is just going to cast Fireball mm -hmm. in the cell. Logically. Oh, what's Coin doing, though? Uh, <clears throat> Coin sees Druck, uh, and then Coin is also going to Misty Step out, but okay. not out into the place, out into the room. Okay. Coin's going to Misty Step out um, and actually up to, like, to straddle, like, onto... Uh, Druck's shoulders and okay. be right at eye level where his oh, hands okay. are. Oh, okay, so you missy-sit onto Druck's shoulders? <laughs> Essentially onto Druck's shoulders and then reach into the fanny pack. They did not check with my disguise kit and and mm -hmm. my thieves' tools. Pull that back out. Just like... Okay, oh. make a thieves' tools check. This is, It's just the same check for both the wrists and the ankles just for time, so... Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, thieves tool check, which is uh... dexterity. Thank you. Dexterity check. Dexterity check is going. It's thirteen. It's fine. Did you add your proficiency bonus to that? If you're not proficient in, yeah, did you add your proficiency oh, bonus to that? I did not. It'd be plus four. That it... So seventeen. Seventeen. You pick locks. Locks. You pick Druck's manacles and feet manacles. Druck is free, yeah, leaving just, like, just Ven, who's just like, 
Also, <clears throat> I, I would go over and try and un wrist uh, Dax. All right, because Dax just ripped it out of the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just be like, bring him to me and I'll. Blitz is going to start <clears throat> taking, Let's gathering make up. A check. <clears throat> With his mage hand, he's going to start gathering up the ashes of Dax's mom mm -hmm. to try to make sure that nothing gets you can, you can scoop them all fucked up. up. Yeah. Quinn, what'd you get on that check? Uh, twenty-four for you get Dax. Dax's wrist manacles off. Yeah. Oh, and the feet ones too. We'll say. Yeah, yeah just yeah. So just Ven is just like sitting there <laughs> trying to get out. I mean, he'd be my he'd be my next. Uh, okay, uh, check project. it. Do another one. But, um, yeah. Not as great. That's 12. 12? Total. Nope. Yeah. Can I start casting Locate Creature on the the dude who had the keys? How long does Locate Creature take? It's take. my target. Uh, it takes an action. Okay, so six seconds. What's the distance on it? 1,000 feet. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, what's the what's the specifics of it? Does it tell you, like, direct? It tells you direction? Um, you, uh, you sense the creature, the direction to the creature's location as long as it's within 1,000 feet of you. If the creature is moving, you know the direction of its movement. It is moving. So it would have turned northwest to get down to the cell. They are moving northwest. Okay. Um, can I? Oh. Can I? Can I ask a little bit out of game? And wait, actually, oh, yeah. hold on, because oh, yeah, no, I gotta no. look up basic travel pace. Because <clears throat> they left when you guys had about three minutes left on about two minutes left on your. Okay, so they're about 600 feet away, currently. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start follow- I'm gonna let Foots know that I'm following this dude. Um, trying to be stealthy. Um, just so I can keep them within range. Okay, well everyone's free now. Uh, mm -hmm. and what was- what was- what was your question, Caleb? Uh, my question was, is between the half-ogre the uh, human and then the other one. It was half orc, dwarf, and uh, human. Thank you. Pardon me. Uh, half orc, uh, dwarf, and human. Do I recognize any of them as members of the body part gang? Uh, no, but you can assume they are members. Yeah, I really want to assume that like the half orc is the nose. As far as someone who searches out, who's really good at searching out, they like, didn't what seem. Are and stuff. They didn't seem. Neither of, neither of the three seemed brainy enough to have. Well. They're the toenails. They're not. It seems like none of them would be. Given good proper names. Given good <laughs> names. The bunions. <clears throat> yeah. They're just the collectively. They're just collectively. <laughs> the <calluses. laughs> They're just collectively the fingers or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Or like, or like the, the, the the knuckle hair, the knuckle. Yeah, hair. But uh, <laughs> you're all, but you're, yeah, but you're all uh, free from your cells, from your restraints. The chest that had all of your weapons put into it, that one of the weapons I specified were taken: the tentacle rod, the laser pistol, and the boomerang. Boomerang. Yeah, the um, epidermites or something. So Kenna left, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, Flitz well, is going to use... How, how are you leaving? Oh, is there a, a it's, locked it, door? It's the stone wall. That oh. they... That, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I have to see for Misty Step. Yep. It's something... Yeah, it's something that you see. So, Coin, Coin would walk up to the... Like, it's just that same wall, right? There's they also the chest that had all of your weapons put in it. Is it... Uh, is, chest is next. Weapons first. Coins going to get those weapons. Yeah, they're, they're this... all in the chest. Okay, I'm gonna this... try and unlock. Okay, it, so. same. This same wall isn't magical, is it? You don't know. All right, so I'm, I'm. This has done me right tonight. So I'm gonna roll this again. For a unlock, or yeah, it'd be, it'd be thief's tools check. All right, so that's gonna be 
dexterity plus proficiency, so it's... Yeah, right on. That's a 27 total. 27. <clears throat> you t -t -t open the chest, and everyone's weapons, aside from the ones I specified, aren't in there, are now in there. Or Aside from yeah. the ones I specified. All right, I there. start just tossing people all their stuff. I've seen them fight with okay. their stuff. So, Drek, that'd be the Crimson Arc crossbow. Every Drek gets all the weapons back, minus the laser pistol. Flitz, you don't have any weapons. I have two daggers. <laughs> yeah, you those get those daggers. back. Okay. Dax, you get any of your weapons back, aside from the tentacle rod. Coin, any of your weapons back, aside from the boomerang. Kenna, you get your staff of withering. All you really took from you, I think, I think was the potion, healing potions. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing my coin pouch, too. My, <clears throat> my, coin pouch, my component pouch, I'm re... Putting everything back Putting in. Putting my items back, yeah. Okay. We need to get Ven off of the wall. Ven is off. We're, we're assuming Ven's off the wall at this point. Can I Can I also, like, start taking this disguise off and putting it back in the fanny yep. pack? Sure. Yeah. Because this is... Takes a minute, but, uh, yeah. Stifling. So, uh, how long... Does, does detect creature... Locate creatures at concentration? Does that last? It lasts an hour. Okay. Uh, that person, they, like I said, you travel 300 feet a minute, uh, mm -hmm. and all of the stuff that's happening, um, they would be 800 feet away now. Okay. Alright, I mean, hey, can anyone get this door down? Oh, you mean you just have to, have you tried pressing there, there, and there? Door opens. Thank you, Coin, and I'm gonna start going after this guy. Oh, it's right. I'm right there with you. Uh, Blitz. Hell yeah. Follow mm. me. Flitz, do you need to get your bottle? Mm hmm. He's gonna bonus action elemental gift again so the air sweeps <laughs> up around mm -hmm. him, and he's gonna just fly. All right. You're flying down, down the, the hall. corridor. Yeah. The, the way that we came back okay. to get my. Okay. But I'm gonna be dashing, double dashing. Okay. The opposite direction. And right. gonna so just so you know, the corridor is it's about 10 feet tall. <clears throat> Dude. Yeah, he's gonna be like, okay, like right, like okay, uh, it, five feet off the ground. Okay, a couple minutes, <laughs> you get to your bottle. Okay, I have ten minutes that last on this. Okay, it, like I said, it literally took two minutes. So okay, two minutes, okay, and then he'll all the way back, pick it up. Uh, Kenna, the person would disappear off your locate creature at this point. No, we weren't, we weren't waiting. No, no, we no. Started... yeah, I'm, oh. but I'm saying, um. Let's you come flying back, holding your bottle. Yeah. Fly okay. behind the others. All right, Kenna, you're leading. Uh huh. Uh, trying to just go down pathways in the uh, All right. general direction. Marching order. Who's is anyone abreast with Kenna? Uh, coin. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay, who's behind Kenna? Druck and Dex. Ven and Flitz in the back. Alrighty. Kenna, what's your passive investigation? Fifteen. Fifteen. That might spot another trap. Uh, I'm going to stop coin. Well, I said it might. So <laughs> you're not stopping coin. <laughs> I said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> keywords, keywords. Mm -hmm. What's this flying still? So okay. That helps. Cool. Oh, wait, never mind. It says they make a check. I need a perception check instead, Kenna, because you're in the lead. Okay. Or whatever your passive perception is. Do you want a perception check from Coin as well? Nope. Or? Uh, 23. 23. You find a five foot, you find a 10, you find a, sorry, you find a five foot section of floor that looks like it's a false panel on the floor. And it looks like it's just, it probably leads to a pit. I stopped coin and I pointed out to him. We got it. Uh, can we walk around it? Yeah, it's just, a, it's, 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 just, it's just one portion of the corridor, so you can just walk around it. Look down, walk around. And I keep okay. going. You said everyone in the back that too? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look down, walk around. You all see this pit, you all walk around it, and you continue, and you come to a solid wooden door with iron fittings. 
no keyhole. Just a door. With one of those knobs locked? that looks like a ring. Like a, yeah. Is it locked? It doesn't have a keyhole. Uh, can I investigate for traps? Make an investigation check. 19. 19. Doesn't appear trapped. Coin's gonna run up and then just open it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> There's, you can hear like the sound of water like dripping like and uh, in the center of the, as you open the door, you're, you're looking into a room and you can see it's a circular, it's a big, big, big open circular chamber. Um, it looks like it's connected to the sewers in some capacity. And it's mostly flooded with sewer water, uh, but in the center of this room is like a little stone island uh, where a couple of tables have been set up with small stools and the tables are covered in like plates and other like um, eating instruments. Uh, and there's like shelves lining the walls of this room um, that are filled with like just baked goods and not baked goods, but like uh, pantry ingredients like flour, salt, pepper, dried herbs, that sort of thing. And this is like, this looks like it might be some sort of like dining area for about 30 people total. Uh, but no one's in here currently because it's like no one eats at this time of night. <laughs> um, but it's well lit. There's torches hanging off the walls again, all lit. Uh, to the north, you can see a door. To the west, you can see a door. And to the east, you can see a door. Uh, which direction was our target heading? He was headed, the last thing you got, he was headed northwest. Northwest. Which would have been the and corridor you were coming are... down. There's northwest and east. Uh, so I, I wanted to, to ask, uh, since, okay, so, uh, so one of my background features is that, uh, I have the urchin. Yeah. Uh, background. I just so I know, your, like, I just answered one of my features. I answered for you on Discord, but, uh, you wouldn't know oh, this you. area. Great. I wanted to make sure if there were any, any time I had spent in the sewers, I want to know, like, mm, not, uh, it's all not this back. region, not this region. Uh, thank you. Does this does this feel like ruins or a dungeon? No. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> um, I have historical okay. knowledge, but, and I can uh, ascertain. You all can hear what sounds like running water, like water hitting water. And looking at the source of the sound, you see uh, the dwarf pissing in the water, and he's like just saying unto himself, "He's like, oh, that's a big piss today. I've not had a big one like that in a while. I've been blocked up." Doing How good beefy now. does this dwarf look? Pardon me? How beefy does he look? Like He's a dwarf in leathers with a laser pistol strapped to his side, and he's just pissing, just, well, taking a big piss here today. He's about 60 feet away, just pissing, facing away. Um, I'm going to cast Frostbite on him. I need a con save. Okay. Does it have vocal components? Uh, It does, but I'm also 60 feet away. Can I whisper it? Stealth check. Third, four. Does coins thing? Nope, that's in, saving throws. Uh, just saving throws. Thirteen. Thirteen. Doesn't seem to hear you. He's still pissing. Cool. Is he a con save? Yes. You do know that first point is a projectile. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh. Fourteen. Fail. Okay. 2d6 cold damage. Mm -hmm. It's four, but he also has disadvantage <clears throat> on the next uh, attack roll. He hits him in the back yes. and he goes, Big attacked! And I guess everyone roll coin, initiative. Coin runs, yeah. Um, There's no battle map for this because, yeah. <clears throat> who, Sorry. just Justin, <laughs> just, for, just for reference, who threw or kicked Flitz's uh, was, bottle? It would, was have been, the, it would have been the human. It was the guy who lost his face. It was the right? human. The one who... Oh. The human, because he was the one who was going to smash... He was the one who tried smashing it, and it bounced, and he was like, oh, I'm going to kick it. He, he was Whose head blew off? Uh, the half-orc. <clears throat> half-orc. Okay, so the human. All right. Thank you. Oh, I know. But this is the guy who fucked with Dax's mom's ashes. 
Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Which you have now. I gathered that up for yeah. you, so you would have been. Yes. All right. Coin that. got a 15. Druck. Uh, Druck got a uh, nine. Nine. All right. Well, you guys do get a surprise round, so. Kenna. Four. Dax. Fourteen. Ven got a 12. All right. So got this a, this a dude took, how much damage was it? You said four, right? Four I'm cold damage, this. yeah. All right. I forgot one of these bandits is dead. All right, I'm very much in a speed run mindset right All now. All right, coin. The dwarf gets hit in the back and he goes, oh, we're being attacked. And he's still like in the process of like reacting to the pain and he's mid piss, so he's, he's dick out. <laughs> <laughs> did I did I freeze his dick? No, you hit him in the back. <laughs> Aww. There's no way he would have hit it. Uh, but coin. Yeah, so his so his butt's in that like that half flex that half yeah. flex. Yeah. He's a cool <laughs> We can kind of see a little bit of hips, but it's like yeah. a tiny little, makes yeah, a little yeah. tiny butt. He's like, he's he's uh. he pees like a kindergartner's <laughs> dick all the way down. It's to Ooh. the ground. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, he's 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 got uh, half speed with those down by his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> He's restrained, grappled by his own. Pants. Oh yeah, coin. It's your turn. Uh, like I said, he's about uh, he's about 60, 60 feet. Sixty feet away, just pissing. Uh, it, this is a double action. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna dash. I'm gonna use my action to dash. Okay, you dash. You dash. Feet. Okay, so movement and dash. Feet. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna dash and I'm gonna get right up to him. Okay. I can't do any. I can't do any attacks. Yeah. I can't. I don't have anything. Right. But I am going to just like. <laughs> I mean, I'll have my sword out. I'm just gonna like smash my shield and just. Dude's like, just trying to take It may a have no effect other than just flavor, but just. Cool. All right. Uh, Dax. Full on Hawk at this moment. 60 feet. That guy's 60 feet away. That coin just ran at. He okay. held under attack. Well, he. And, yeah. So you just see Dax grip the long sword that coin gave them. And flavor-wise, this is what this looks like, okay? Um, Throws it. <laughs> you, just see, you just see Dax. It almost looks like... Yeah. I realize I'm an idiot, and I can actually get up and attack this fool this turn. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I can use a bonus action to get up to them. I can use a bonus action... Misty step. And oh yeah, you could. You do that. You do 30 that instead. Feet, bonus action, misty step, and then I can attack them. Okay. Do you do? Did you? Do, would you do that instead? Yes, and I still would. Okay. Well, make an attack then. Yeah. Sorry, I am so sorry to interrupt. I apologize. Bro, I just don't look very fam, Jam. Do so you run up uh, on this dude with this dwarf who's got his pants around his ankles? Mm -hmm. So that's a nineteen that to hits. get on the first. Yep. All right. <laughs> God. So that's a twelve. Oh, how does Coin dispatch this dwarf? Oh, uh, it it fully is just, a, just like, and then just, just like, just slits the throat, and then just like, he's just, yeah, yeah, like just, okay, like I was doing to the stone, just doing to this guy's gut, just. Jesus. Okay. Uh, we're still gonna be an initiative because, like I said, he he yelled, uh, and you can hear somebody else approaching through one through the eastern door. Uh, okay, Dax. <laughs> and we just have butchering this guy who's pants. Oh, it's, it's he falls, gross. He it's falls like... face forward into the water. Into his piss. Into his piss. It's still good around the ankles. Oh, it is. It is. It is. Uh, Mel Gibson and Patriot levels of just like hacking the back of this. I head. write down that coin killed this person's code name, <clears throat> but I will not toenail. reveal it. Left toenail. That's yeah, worse. <laughs> a stinky toenail. A coin. As you're watching, Forced you can see him. you can see on the back of his pants. He's got like a little mm -hmm. tag that has his name written on it, like "Return to," and it says "Return to the Hog." Makes sense. Also, thank you for the raid. Uh, okay, uh, Dax, what are you doing? <clears throat> uh, he said it's to the east that we're hearing the noise from. Yeah, that door's about would also be about sixty feet away, equidistant. Um. Oh. Okay, we'll do this instead. Um. 
same sort of flavor because I don't know when they're coming. Um, it doesn't look like one of the doors that like opens like a wooden door, just like a regular yeah. one. You see Dax just holding on to Coin's sword, and it looks like um, like you've seen her spectr- spectral tentacles before. It looks like they kind of wrap around her and then she disappears and she reappears 60 feet right beside the door as she casts Far Step. Okay. I had Dax cast Far Step last session, but now that you flavored mm-hmm. it, we know how it looks. Cool. Hey. So you just so you teleport right in front of the door? By the side of it. Okay. Cool. So when they open it and they step through, I would like to hold an action to like fuck him up with Coin's longsword. Alrighty. Is Far Step a bonus action to cast? Yes, it is. Cool. Alright. Just a reminder, because I built your barbarian really weird and gave it spellcasting capabilities. You can't concentrate on a spell while you're raging, so if you rage, you can't Far Step. <clears throat> okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to you about that later. They use the bonus action. They haven't. Uh, it says barbarians can't concentrate on spells while they're raging in the rage thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. But I don't think that they rage. Which again. means building a spellcasting barbarian was a bad idea. <laughs> Subclass for me to make. Nah. But no it's cool. Dax is cool as fuck. All right. Surprise round. Ven is just gonna hold a firebolt if someone comes running in. Druck. Uh, Druk is going to, uh, yeah, he's just gonna do an attack on this guy. Oh, he's, he's dead. Crossbow. Oh, oh there's no one left? Coin killed him. He was peeing, peeing by himself and he yelled, oh, we're being attacked. Called for backup. Cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, he did have his laser pistol on him. Your laser pistol on him. Yeah, oh, yeah, his, I'm his, going, his, I'm but his head is now hammered. Alright, he's 60 feet away. Yeah, that's easy for me. Okay, so... <laughs> so how you getting there, though? Like, action dash, bonus action dash, movement? How you doing it? Uh, I'll... I mean, I'll do bonus action dash. Okay, then you, then it's your action to take the pistol off of him. Yeah. Cool, you got your laser pistol back. Cool. All right. It. Flitz. Flitz is gonna fly in through the room, fly up. How tall is the ceiling? Uh, it'd be about 30 feet. Okay, yeah. So, to fly in and fly up about 15 feet, and how many other doors are there again? There uh, are... There's the north, east, and west. The sounds of footsteps are coming from the east. Okay, he's going to... Um... <sighs> Jeez. He'll hold an Eldridge Blast for the first person that walks to the door. I forgot. It has it written in the Barbarian thing that they can... The Homebrew Barbarian that they can do spells I was in levitate later. specific it says it in levitate but not in far step but it's, it was supposed to be all your spells all right sorry flitz you're doing what holding a eldritch blast for cool. the first person that walks sounds before. good kenna um i i still can't sense the the guy uh oh no in my thing he's gone um, oh wait. Which which one of the three were you focusing it on? The one who had the keys to our jail cell. To our cell. Okay. Yeah, he's like th- he's thirty feet away. Uh behind the door? Yeah, or... he's approaching it, yeah. Uh cool. That's the wrong tab. Um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold a produced flame and to throw it in his face. Okay. This guy's gonna get fucked. Yeah. All right. Oh, Caleb's not here. Oh no. Well, co- get, co- coin. It's your turn. Everyone right looks like they're Sorry. focusing so, on the eastern door and preparing for something. Sorry, I had a biology break. Uh, I'm gonna run over to the eastern door. <laughs> Ah! I'm going to run over to the eastern door. Is it within 30 feet? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go over 
and uh, hold an action to Fuck. when these Everyone's guys... Everyone's holding an action on this guy when he comes through. <laughs> yeah, there's, it, is, it is a <laughs> holding action. Scarface is what it's going to look like. Like, right. I mean, <clears throat> not, not to put too fine a point on it, but I haven't made it a chain. I'm holding for okay, cool. five feet, and I am, I am holding it, and it's just like an even kind of a... Like licking the blade, like this. Okay. We, we're seeing we're seeing a really uh, dark, okay. a deep, dark, hot, sticky version of coin okay. that none of us is really prepared or comfortable mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. All right, Dax. It's not great. This guy was surprised last round, so he didn't get his turn. So what are you doing? You're standing right by the door. Everyone's po coins posted <laughs> up on it. Everyone else is from, from a distance posted up, preparing stuff at it. Um. Oh, uh, if you're Nope, never mind. I think of something else. Uh, hold on. I have to see if holding an action drops concentration. It does. So you don't have if you if you held an action, you would have lost far step. Uh, oh, that's I fine. Also, I, I was don't... just trying to get. Okay, so far, I was just kind so, of so far, cool no longer, to get to okay, the door. You're no longer yeah, concentrating it's on It's all step. Gucci. All right. So what do you do? Uh, on that same note, I don't want to hold an action because I'm still concentrating on locate creature. Okay. Um. He's only about. You don't know how far away he is. Only Kenna does. Only Kenna does. Um. He'll be called? here in a few seconds. What's Perception it check. <laughs> rage. I would like to rage. We're <laughs> waiting for you. Better come <laughs> the corner. Okay, you bonus action rage. Hey, rage. Buzz. I'm um, going through all your stuff. You better come out and pound me. <laughs> and I can hold an action while raging, right? Yes. Okay. I action? am barbarian who's stupid. Uh, and I'm assuming... Actually, I can't... Yeah. Holding an action to okay. fuck him up cool. when he comes through the cool. door. Or she. As Kenna says, he's on his way! You hear the footsteps stop. And then go 30 feet in the other direction. And then dash action another 30 feet in the opposite direction. Fuck. Why am I a fucking dumbass right now? <laughs> Ven's like, what's happening? From all the way at the back. And Ven's gonna fall, get up at the door. Line. Ven has 30 feet of movement as a wizard. So Ven's gonna move 30 feet. Druck. <clears throat> Everyone, I don't know why all of you turned into dummies. We need to be careful. We need to proceed. We need to be quiet. We need to. We have to be careful. We have to think. They're, they're now preparing for us. We can't just run in there. So, what are you doing on your turn? That's all I'm doing. Okay. Flitz. Okay, uh, Flitz is gonna fly to the door. Okay. He's gonna open it. <laughs> okay, it doesn't open. <laughs> Shit. Uh, alright. Um, uh, the door's locked. Uh, uh, damn it. I don't have anything that I can do to open the door. Uh, he'll fly. It would have been 30 feet of movement to get to the door. Wow, that's true. So he's, like, hovering in front of the door. Yeah. Uh, action, dash, and he's going to fly back. Okay. <clears throat> to the others. But he'll go about 10 feet okay. up and an angle sure. to be facing downward. Ten, uh... It's locked. He'll tell the others. Mm -hmm. Just going to very quietly apologize for <laughs> shouting earlier. <laughs> Sorry for yelling. <laughs> Kaz, I'm sorry for yelling. Um, they're going back down the hallway the other direction. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and that's my bad. Okay. Also, apologies. It takes it'll be an action to retrieve these things. This dwarf was is also the one who had the uh, all the potions that were taken, the healing potions, and the diamonds. Sweet. The other guy has the boomerang, and the oh no, this guy has the boomerang as well. The human is the only one that took the diamond. The human has the diamonds. But this guy has everything else minus the diamonds. Yeah, I'm just going to start off my turn and apologize to everyone. Um, <clears throat> they are heading back down that hallway. Um, 
they're roughly uh, 90 feet away from the door now. Uh, but I think we can catch up to them and uh, get them all. No, we should call it off. They're probably waiting for us. We come back some other day. That's Kenneth's turn. So they, that was a long conversation. <laughs> they took our shit and then it. <clears throat> Absolutely running at that door. Not grabbing the potions in the boomerang? Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm going to fuck this dude up. Like, wait, okay, cool. Wait. You get to the door. 30, 50 wait, wait. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, dwarf. The dwarf has... I forgot the dwarf has all the potions and stuff on him. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Uh, if I'm half out of the conversation, I apologize. When did I miss that the dwarf died? Because I killed... You killed I killed the dwarf. hog. No, you, yeah, the dwarf. That's the that's the dwarf. Oh, then I'd I'd have scooped my shit up. Okay, it's an action. It's an door. action to do that. Oh, then way back object, instead yeah. of instead of oh, instead of holding an action, then I suppose yeah. it would have been okay. Action economy wouldn't have hold that. So now I'm at the door. Um, because I fucked up. You have your boomerang back. No worries. Yeah, yeah, I, I would have grabbed that shit. Um. No, I guess, uh, so then I'm going to use this action to unlock the door. Okay, so I, uh, these tools check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got you. So that's a dex test plus. Yep. Good good words, guys. That is a dex check plus yep. proficiency. Plus your, plus, your, plus your proficiency. And with your okay. movement, you can open a door, but you just use 30 feet of movement to get to this door. Oh, no, you're five feet in front of it. Never mind. Yeah, I was, I was just right there. That's also a nat 20. Okay, cool. You pick the lock. <laughs> And as part of your movement action, you can open doors. Okay, the, yeah, then I'm going to just get that door. And just okay, be he's like, 60 feet down the corridor, running down the corridor. Uh, then I, I don't have the German translation yet for it, but I would say, I am the, I am the past come back to haunt you! Okay, yeah, he's he's just running 60 feet down the corridor. It's a long corridor. I, uh, it's about 80 feet long. It's lined with doors. And he's just sprinting. Uh, uh, then I also, uh, okay. as I have what you'd have your full movement speed plus less. 20. Oh, oh, then 30 feet. Ooh. So I'm 50. Okay, feet so you're 30 feet right dude. behind him. Oh, this is a screaming. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he's, he's just like, get away from me. <laughs> you killed my friends. At Dex. this point, friends, paddle your own. Oh, community. any bonus actions, coin? Uh, let me, let me check and see. Um, if I'm being honest, uh, we don't have time for me to sift through all my bonus actions to make sure. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Okay, uh, cool. I'm com Oh, no, no. Uh, one bonus action. I'm going to do uh, get back a second level spell. All right, cool. Uh, Dex. The door opened. Coin ran down the corridor, yelling. <laughs> um, yeah, I said, I'm the past. Come back to haunt you. Just angry. Badass. Uh, so the dude's like 60 feet? Yeah, you're five feet beside the door, so you can't see him. So he'd be 65 feet away from you. So I could use far step to get up to him then. You're no longer concentrating on far step because uh, you held the But to cast to it again? You'd have to cast it again, yeah. Uh, how many, you, there's a specific number of times. I can do it up to it. five times a day. Okay. So you can do it again. But I think far step, you have to see where you're going. So then I'll. Uh... You also would drop. Oh no, never mind. Yeah. So. You're. What are you doing? I'll like step to the side, look down the hall, do what I wanted to do to that other fucker, and then it looks like the tentacles are closing in around them, and they reappear right behind the guy, and they reappear. I, I want it to look like they reappear, and like their sword is like through the guy. We have to make like that's to the it. motion. Yeah, just like okay. So, coin, you're running on the corridor. You see Dax just <laughs> up here, five feet behind this guy, and then go for his attack. On, so, make on, an attack. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, twenty-two to hit. That hits. So just <clears throat> you just skewer him through the back. <coughs> Fuck yeah! So that's gonna be. You just your rage bonus is now plus three. Is now three, by the way. Six, seven, eight. That's gonna be nine damage then. He's not dead. He coughs up just <laughs> blood everywhere. And then Dax is good at just like, like oh, shoving oh. it even further. Like you know how like you twist the knife kind of well, thing. What's another attack? For like this for this for their second yeah, attack. Make another attack. Oh, a natural twenty. Oh god. Roll, oh. roll it. Roll it. 
You just double the dice, not your rage bonus. So that's you gonna shove be your fingers 13, through and just pull 14, apart. 15, 16 damage. He's <laughs> skewered through the back. He's like coughing up. Fuck just, yeah! How, do you, how does Dax take out this human bandit? You just see them, like it goes through them, and it's all the way to the hilt, and Dax Oof. just all the way up through their body splits them in two. Just from their sternum, okay. basically. And you just hear, like, cracking, like you've Great. been cracking into, like, a lobster. <laughs> this guy had the worst, I think. Um, <laughs> that's the end of combat. <laughs> just <laughs> Entrails and blood spilling out into the corridor. Uh, any other items that were stolen can be retrieved. So if anyone had anything stolen, you can get it back. And Dax just spits on them and looks at Coin and just gives him a nod. Uh, Coin, Coin would have been, with no disrespect to anyone else in the party, Coin would have like probably run up and then tried to like put his foot right in your hip flexor and like high five if your hand went up high five but then just kept walking and running like a just like a dip, 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 dip. <clears throat> slap okay here we go big 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 you're like s- just ready to just so punch wait, 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 and slay wait. anyone so you're just running continuing really? down this corridor you're ignoring the other previous two doors what's everyone yeah, no, it's like i guess what everyone's doing because this is kind of starting to turn into abandonment so i didn't need to know what like the others are doing like druck kenna flits Oh, that's fair. I don't want to abandon anyone. No, I just want to know what they're up to because you guys are just speeding off down this corridor. So I want to know what drug. I guess. I guess. I guess maybe I would like stop and look back. Okay. Well, what? What are drugs? I'll I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop at. uh, At uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to abandon anyone. I'll stop at uh, Dax and then and then look back. And just also Uh, just like a. It's bad. It's not good. It's not good. What is going on? Like, are we seeing... What? What are we doing? What is the plan? Why are we here? I think we're taking down Coin's old gang. I think that's what we we've decided. We're. I think that's what we started doing. Do we oh, think that is... the the guy that or the the person that came and visited you can uh was he trying to come back here? I think he might have been. I'm not sure. We he. Uh, oh boy. Can I think back? Did he? Um. It, pretty obvious. Like, pretty obvious. Now you have the context. Yeah. He did you the weird what? like came in was like oh there's someone someone's here. here. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty That's obvious. That's cute. Okay. I'm and it was also it was, that was also <laughs> that was also brought up by Druk, I believe, mm-hmm. in the temple itself. Actually, you know what? Now that I've actually stopped to think about it, you might be right. So this is good, right? We can fuck the place up. Also, Dax, whatever you just did was f- frightening. Body's um, like still anyway, twitching. It, mm, hate that. Um, maybe we should make sure that the whole place is... I don't want to make any calls. I'm sorry. I'm the new one still, but I think we need to make sure that no doors left unopened i mean but there's also um oh fuck i gave that fucker my name fuck you didn't say like uh Agnia or something crazy you gave nah, i mean he seemed cool when i talked to him earlier uh, uh, yeah they seem cool are you are you you're within your shot of coin you're like up by the bodies yeah Mm-hmm. Coin, so coin is coin is uh, like wiping the blade clean on his sword she goes names are important <laughs> just like fully just <laughs> like full yeah. just angry spits just uh, clean the blade the, and shh, puts it back in this long corner that Druck and Dax are standing in it's lined with doors like I said and you can hear someone shuffling behind one of the doors, and they open it, and they walk out, rubbing their eyes. In the same outfit like these guys are wearing, just rubbing their eyes like they just woke up. I'm just like, hmm. You know, hold it. Hands up, what's your name? Does, does Coin recognize <laughs> that? No. Uh, so they, they're rubbing a... their eyes, just like... Nishkabob! 
full, you're attacking full, full, him? Full, 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 full Ongbok knee to the chin. Well, like, that's a, that's a run. Uh, knee Dax the... said it first, so Dax make that's an fair. attack. That's fair. To this unarmed individual. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to hold an attack in their face. <laughs> I mean... With advantage, because they walk out going like this. With advantage? Because they're um, technically blinded because they're rubbing their eyes. With advantage, that's 28. Yeah, it hits. I mean, coins to be here to fuck shit up. That That's a nine Plus if I'm not bonus. raging. Oh, oh you, you, I'm you, you still raging? Be, you wouldn't be raging anymore. That's just nine then. Okay, so you stab them and they're like... What the fuck? Uh, Dax gonna finish the job. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, can I just do a sec- they're just like, uh, 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 well, I got this far, uh, can I just twist- twist it? Do Make a another attack. attack? Try to- just, No uh, longer advantage, because they're like, what oh, the fuck? Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Thirteen. Man, if we played alignment, some alignment would be changing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thirteen hits. It looks like this person just woke up, they're not fully- Yeah, yeah no eight. armor, nothing. No armor. Just- <laughs> Eight damage. And they just slide off the sword and slump up against the wall. No, the door is open. They stumble back into the room they just walked out of and just collapse. Dax just gonna close the door. Are any of us really surprised <laughs> at that? Like, and are any of us really surprised? Just, you can um... The new guy is a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coin, I'm sorry. I just assumed they were part of your gang and I. Take care of them. Dex, you might have gone a little far and heavy-handed on that one. Sorry, Coin. I'm just trying to be supportive of your revenge. What's Dax's alignment? Because you've done uh, you've chaotic? Done neutral? It's gotta be chaotic it's, evil, that's, right? It's evil. You're definitely evil. That's not chaotic neutral, <laughs> what you've been doing. You're chaotic evil. That's an alignment change. You're chaotic evil. I don't think I'd be chaotic evil. You're chaotic evil. You're okay. You're neutral evil. There's been a lot of murder <laughs> of people without really. It's yeah. you're neutral evil. You got an alignment change. I don't, I don't usually do alignment stuff, but that's an alignment change. There's been a lot of questionable stuff, so yeah. We could fix. I'll it. talk to you about it either. I'm gonna go. Yeah, we could fix. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I think we can do. Oh, gee. But also. So yeah, uh, this. Uh, so as you like, focus on what just happened. This person looks like maybe they're in their late teens, early twenties. They're just like. Pfft. So that's a, that's an urchin, and and that is definitely a. Get, oh, we no, have you, our diamonds you, you back, just, right? And getting you sense, just, you get a sense. You just killed Danny from the first Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, get, you get a sense. Maybe a lot of these people are hard on their luck, and they joined a thieves. Is guild. it is it too <laughs> late for Healing Word? It's way to too late for Healing Word. He's dead <sighs> as at fuck. this point. Yeah. Wait, All wait. Right. Is it too late to put? It's too uh, late for lay on hands. It's too late for anything. He's he's, dead. he's like full on dead. I'm gonna yeah. Cast for Vivify. It's too late for Vivify. Kuda grad is ass. It's really? way past a minute. Yeah. Ah, uh, Dax. Look, look, I'm look. Sorry, look. Kenna. I was trying to be supportive of Coin. Uh, and again, gonna... this hallway is lined with doors, and you hear commotion behind each door in this corridor. Like, what's going guys, on out there? Guys, we gotta fucking get out of here. I'm gonna cast Pass Without Trace. We gotta leave. Okay, where are you going? <laughs> We gotta get back to my the, house. The pass is forward. It does not Coin, back. no, we gotta leave. We the door, you hear the doors killed. beginning. People approaching the doors of this corridor. Uh, anyone, if anyone opens the door, uh, I'm preparing an action to. Uh, it is, it is an ongbok knee to the face. Everyone roll initiative yeah. again. It's, it's not, it's not. This is not again. This isn't. This is a more controlled. I just saw some yeah. some hobo like some some murder shit. They people are, you can hear people behind there saying, "Oh, here's something other." You can hear commotion. They can hear commotion. It gets the sense this is not going to be people walking out like this dude in his night clothes. This is this is. But again, just to be clear, this is not this is not this is a concentrated yeah, specific choice, not a not a knife thing. This is an ongbok knee to the face. <clears throat> okay. Oh boy. I'll roll that initiative. Time to get some. Random, doing some capoeira shit right now. Time to get some random bandit names going. <laughs> All right. Based based on their function and the human body. Sorry about my gang names. <laughs> Bless. All right. Follicle. Toenail. 
Right you, kneecap. You killed the hog. Femur. I mean, I also I also like the general like sloughing off if you haven't made anything for yourself. You're an epidermite. <laughs> oh, they got they got they got names for people who aren't cool. Hence the hog, which is slang for dick. All right, <gasps> we, we get it. Yeah, so didn't get that. I didn't, didn't know that. I was like, oh, little piggy. Right, oh cool. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a. Um... It looked like a pig in a blanket. Drug. Twenty three. Twenty three. Kenna. Ten. Vax. Eleven. Ven. Or right, what I ask? <laughs> Natural twenty for twenty two. Flits. Ten. Plus we go before Kenna. Yeah, I have a plus three. All right, Druck, you can hear the commotion behind each of the doors. You can see this display that just happened. You're about five feet from everybody. You're five feet from this corridor. Okay. Stand back from the doors, everyone. And I'm going to hold an action, and uh, I would be using one of the charges from the Crimson Art Crossbow okay. to stun potentially stun everybody okay. in so like the, layer, all, the layer of the corridor is door wall door so each door is 10 feet apart from each other and then the corridor is 10 feet wide cool so you would probably get your friends with that at least That's just what I told them to back up okay all right you're rolling in action cool Ven is just gonna be, why are we murdering people <laughs> and is just going to hold an action for Firebolt. I mean, there hasn't really been a lot of conversation about it. Uh, coin. Uh, it's I'm holding an action. Like I said, it's a it's a Tony Jaw knee to someone's like face plate. It's okay. not, it's, it, the sword has gone away, but I'm ready to just run up and then knee to the face. Boom. Okay. Knock someone out. Uh, that's that's the goal. Like, okay, that's the... so you're staying in the corridor. Yeah, just... Okay. So you see a door open. A guy in full regalia holding a short sword. His eyes are, like, bulging out of the sockets almost. Uh, they look like a very light blue-skinned elf with pointed ears and bald. And they're like... There's a lot more of them did I talk? And go for your unarmed strike, I guess. Oh, great. Awesome. Uh, 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 strike. Shakalaka. Does anyone... Oh, and then, no, Druck, yeah, you can I just say whenever you three. want your crossbow thing to go off, because I don't know when you want it to go off exactly. Well, I can't really do it with someone right there. Yeah, so. I was going to say, if, if he's... And Dax is still in the corridor, too, go? so it would... Well, it, yeah. if, if he's first, would he go first in initiative? Is, no, no, no. Druck was holding an action to sh shoot into the corridor. Right? So you're still in the corridor, so it would hit you no matter what. It would dax no matter what. Great. Uh, yeah, it's a, I, I rolled a natural one plus five is six, but I didn't hit. So I guess I would run up to that person and no. jump at their face. You had a held action, so that was that was your attack. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, that was your held action. You So that's yeah. one attack. Oof. Yeah. Okay. So they come would out of the try, door. Would I try attacking again, or would you can't uh, because you held action. You can only attack once with the held action. Okay, so then does Drux pop off then? Mm, I he's not going to shoot. If Drux did, it would stun. It would stun everybody. That's so he's, he's just holding it until you guys are out of the way. All right. Uh, so this bandit's going to walk out and go to stab Coin. I mean, I'm on his face. For a natural twenty as well. <laughs> come get it. Come get a taste. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be a lot. Eight slashing damage. <laughs> the adjacent door is going to open, and out is going to step another bandit who looks like an ogre. <laughs> Just rough. like an actual ogre. <laughs> All right. And it's gonna see Dax standing over the course of this dude who got split in half. And is gonna go for Dax. 
coin. You do recognize this one. This one was called the arms. Intimately with this guy. And you see that they pull, as they're walking out, they pull out a massive great club made of just gnarled wood, and they're going to swing it down at Dax. Not nine. They can't really position it well in this corridor, and it just kind of <clears throat> takes off a couple of the doors that are open. All right. Another door is going to open. And out steps uh, a human woman with long brown hair. Uh, and she's going to go for a scimitar attack on Dax. Uh, Twelve misses. Cool. Another door opens. And out steps a tiefling, uh, a red tiefling uh, with like a pompadour kind of style hair. Uh, and is just going to attack coin. Nope. Again, two more doors at the end of the corridor are going to open. Damn. And the first one is going to shoot a crossbow at Dax. For a 13, which misses. And the door beside that one's going to open. It's going to be another bandit coming out, shooting a crossbow towards Dax, because Dax is the closest. Uh, does that mean that a set of doors is opened where there are a bunch of people nearby? Yeah. We'll be at the end of the corridor, that's when, uh, 60 feet away. That's when my shot would go off. Okay, cool. But go ahead and do your thing. I missed. They're, they're missed. So yours would, you can go off towards the ones at the back of the room then. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, just do a... Straight attack. I can't do any bonus action nope. stuff, so yeah. All right, here we go. 25 to hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't get sneak attack. Uh, no, because I don't no have one, advantage and, and no one's within. nearby. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that would be a total of 10 plus 2d6 plus 3. Okay. So 13. How does Druck kill that one? 13 total damage. Um, and then, uh, Using that charge. Mm -hmm. um, What's the radius on that charge? Is it five feet or ten? I don't remember. Ten. Ten. So that would get the two, the, the next two people up. Yeah. A uh, creature hit with the supercharged shot must succeed on a fifteen Constitution saving throw or is paralyzed until the end of its next turn. When a supercharged okay. shot hits the creature, <clears throat> the lightning bolt arcs to any creatures within ten feet of the target cool. and each of these additional creatures takes the lightning damage that the original target took. Oh, so they don't get stunned. No. Never mind. They don't get paralyzed. Bummer. Uh Okay. All right. So, yeah, they only take 3 damage. <laughs> okay. Each. Okay. 3. But how does Druk kill the one that got shot? Uh There's no glory in this. Just straight to the chest. All right. And that would be... I don't know if I described that one. I don't care. They die. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright. Cool. That's that. Uh... They stepped out, they shot a crossbow, it missed Dax. You've got one, two, three. Three bandits around you, one down the hall shooting at you with a crossbow. I would like to bonus action rage. I need all three of those bandits to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay, so one for a bandit, one for an ogre. Uh, 15 for one of the bandits. Fails. The ogre got a 12 minus 3. Fails. And then the other bandit got a 13. Fails. So they're going to take 1d6 psychic damage, which I rolled a 1. Okay. But they are stunned until the end of its next turn. Cool. 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 <clears throat> uh, All right. So, the one at the very end of the hallway, 
mm-hmm. tried to shoot me. Which of the ones tried to attack me that's nearest me? Uh, an ogre, a bandit, and a bandit. An ogre, a one that looks like an elf, or the one that looks like an elf was the one coin tried kneeing. Um, and then there's a uh, ogre and I don't fucking remember. I mean, Drux killing <clears throat> the other ones. Dax is like, fuck it. Like this is they're fighting us. This is. Okay, with Coin's long sword, gonna go for the ogre that's by me. Okay. First attack is a 17. That hits. That's gonna be 15, 16, 17, 18 damage total. Okay. They rolled max, plus Mm -hmm. my rage. And then for the second attack on them, That's a 24 to hit. Yep. And that's going to be 14, 15, 16, 17 damage. Mm hmm. They're looking, they're looking hurt now. They're looking hurt. Mm hmm. And then they're just going to stand there and just stand their ground and try to protect the coin. Flits. don't like this uh shit um all right flitz is going to uh he's gonna focus for a second and he's going to close his eyes as he lifts off the ground a bit uh five feet behind the three that are on dax and coin Mm -hmm are right there's like three of them that Mm -hmm. are kind of grouped up together behind them the uh the air begins to swirl and shift uh almost like as a like a small mini tornado is picking up um and he's going to cast dust dust devil Mm -hmm. in that space uh as an action okay so nothing happens yet but what he's going to do for his bonus action, he's going to push it forward. He's going to try to gather as much like loose dirt and stone and whatever he can get to kind of create this uh, and small gravel pieces to kind of create this obscurity between the rest of the guys behind the behind them three. Mm-hmm. And he's going to reposition the Dust Devil to be behind the three that are engaged with Coin and Dax. Okay. <clears throat> But he wants to pretty much make a like a heavily scared area that would block like their visuals. Okay. Our okay. visuals of them and their visuals of us. Okay. Um, By the way, Kenna did cast Pass Without Trace before this all started. Yeah. yeah so everyone um, has a plus ten to stealth. And he's gonna start backing up. Like he's gonna okay, start okay. floating back. He's he's gonna stay within sixty feet of the Dust Devil though. Okay. But he's going to start packing up. Well, this escalated very quickly. Um, I I definitely want to take a more um, passive approach to this fight. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm going to... um, Um, I think I'm just gonna cat um shout over to coin. What would Bahamut do? Um, in an attempt to try to calm him down and um, kind of lower um, uh, the uh, <clears throat> lower the energy a little bit. Okay. Um, um, in addition to being like, we need to fucking calm down and chill. This got way over escalated. Doesn't look We're like they're gonna sorry. chill. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying. I'm. Doesn't look like your apology is gonna matter either. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my action to hide, I guess, uh, behind a be- door, an open door. 
Um, You're kind of being observed, so you can't really hide. Can I duck into one of the rooms that's open? You're definitely not going to be able to hide because they would have seen you go in there. All right, then I'm just going to take cover in one of the side rooms that's open. Okay, it's a bed, a shitty bed, and Uh a chest at the foot of the bed. Cool. Yeah, I'm just going to take cover in there in addition to shouting. And a bedpan. What would Bahamut do? All right. At coin. That's those of you who can see bandits watching all the bandits kind of just stop what they're doing put their weapons away and then they kind of just look around going they look around like they don't know where they are combat has ended they're looking around like they don't know where they are they see, the, they see all the dead ones and they go who murdered them what's going on where are we now can I hide <laughs> you can hear voices yeah go for it I guess <laughs> they see coin well what happened where are we it's, a it's the tiefling 29. with the pompadour that's talking um, where are we what happened uh, I, I, I was coin. working in my family's Pottery shop. Coin, coin is going to brandish the sword and go to the ogre who has. The ogre died. is also in the same kind of like. Well, where am I? Yep. Yep. No. Truly, I get it. Uh, I'd like to. And he sits get, down. Poof. I'd like. Yeah. If he's sitting down, fantastic. Why am I covered in hurdy spots? I want to push him against the wall. Put the sword against his neck. Oh, what do you wish? I was picking flowers. Tell, tell me. Shut up. Tell me. Where's the heart? I have one right here. No, where's the. Shut up. Why are you being where? mean to me? Where is the heart? I don't know. In my chest, the last time I checked. Where's, I don't know. Where's the heart? I don't. All you can see is, by the way, he's. I don't know. When I think he's telling the truth. Like I said, I was picking flowers. How did I get here? There's a coin. Coin looks at Dax just. I was picking flowers and then a person. To, Talk then to me. Goes, then goes, to the, goes to the pompadour, grabs him. Where's the heart? I don't know what you're talking about. Mother. Like I said, I was working in my family's pottery shop. Last just, thing I remember. <clears throat> then just to, I guess, just to to the entire assembly, just screaming, just where is the heart? And that's what we'll end the session for the week. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, guys! Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> everybody got everybody got like caught up in in uh, coins fervor. Yeah, and it I seems mean... like these people may have been charmed to do what they were doing. Oh, <gasps> that is illegal here. Uh oh, you killed innocent people. So now we're also looking for someone called the Heart. And the mouth. The mouth is not innocent. The the heart is not innocent. They're a neck or a throat. (laughs) The nips are number (laughs) right and left hand man. Those are the. (laughs) But that's uh, that's where we're gonna end it with this entire corridor of people. A dust devil is just whipping around too. (laughs) What's that? Of seemingly breaking out of some sort of charm. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to end it for the week. We'll be back next week. Maybe next week we'll... Maybe two weeks from now. We'll know. Who knows? The Harvest Fest... This Festival of Calming is tomorrow in-game, so we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> good night.